I do. Actually, my couch is worse at that. It likes to eat people's souls. Mine disappeared a long time ago. Actually, I Superheroes game. As we're entering the second issue of the Nightmares of Future Past called X Potential. Just starting it out. So, let me check my uh, camera here. Ooh, scary guy! <laughs> I will now look into your soul. Hi. I'm touching your screen. I'm no, I'm touching your screen. I'm touching your screen. <coughs> okay. Hey, Tweedo. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna be weird. Hey, people. Hey, yo. Here to do this again. Let's move this. Yeah, why don't you move that out of the way? Hey, ow, spill. Stop it, Amanda. We're gonna hunt. I didn't do it. <laughs> You're spilling my Kool-Aid from over there. Oh, I didn't. I was you had your hair, your hair. Your hands were in your hair, causing the end. It, it was the flailing of the hair. It was the whole butterfly thing. <laughs> right? I'm sure that's how it works. I always believe huh? in the movie that the guy okay. from... Who has the sound on their phone? No. Nope. I turned mine down. Okay. Mine's off. Now you don't have to be watching stuff on on the there, but you can you can chat on the game. I'm not saying anyone has to. It's nice when you do because it, it involves okay, everyone. Do you know chatting on the um games <coughs> counts as comments on the video? So our, our like comments have jumped up like 800 points. Doesn't yeah. still need more followers. Is that the right one? Subscribers. No, that sounded rather oppress oppressive. Subscribe to us. Subscribers. He used to be submit. Damn studio, submit to us. That is one. Yeah, look at more and more. <laughs> look at my numbers. <laughs> I get more views on this stuff than my actual normal studio yeah, I stuff. I have it. Well, sometimes I just like. <laughs> okay. And Everyone? Or Morgan, do you have a version of your character sheet? Yeah. The music's gonna have to go. Okay. I couldn't even hear it. I have like a little bit of habit, and sometimes I'll fight my hair. Randomly. And yes, I sent it to Dave already. Okay. Okay. Well, what do we have going on here? We have you guys, as in, actually, I think it was only two of you, but it was decided for all of you at that moment. You were all loaded up, put in a van, and headed off to Canada. Um, yeah, we were, it was three of us. Yeah. Me, Morgan, and Bill. Okay. We decided that. Yeah, but everyone else went, too. Huh? Trixie got thrown in the van. You showed up later on. You're a mutant who escaped the Tri-City area, so you still know the area some. May not have been here long. Oh, roll a die 20. Nope. It's this one. All of us? Well, nope, just her. 12? She's 22. Yeah, 22. Okay. So, hey, it's just 22. Okay. That means now, no, don't, just because your character can drink doesn't mean you need to run off to a bar now. <laughs> yeah. Barrel. <laughs> no, that's a specific character flaw he has. He's playing. He's playing in character there, really. Uh huh. 
Oh yeah, I heard it. I heard a actually. Nah, uh huh? Or a uh huh? He has smaller dice than those ones. Oh yeah, but my dice are. Oh okay. Yeah. No. I got them because sometimes I had to roll like in Tulsa Trolls. I have to roll like thirty dice sometimes, so I need a handful of them. I just got these off. Of we'll need those for, uh, when we can. We'll have to see how space looks for the Sunday game. But when a space comes open, we can let you move in. And in that one, you'll need those dice and more. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? There's plenty of room in the Sunday one. Jesus, so many people don't show up. Oh, my God. Well, we got to, like, give them a chance before we remove oh, them. Oh, God. I never said remove them. I just... I do. We have a rule that if you're not here in five games, in case you didn't know, if you're not here in five games alone or in a row, you're out of the game. Your character becomes an NPC. If you do come back, you have to come back as a whole new character. Yeah, so that's one way you get to become a new character. It beats, I had a problem in a game one time. And a superhero game. Right. Where this guy didn't like so, his character. Because yeah, he found out, he first got his first fight. And he was sure he was going to be so tough. So we get karma points. And he kind of was a bully anyway. So he's sure he's going to be so tough as a character. Your karma is he got his ass kicked. So he got so pissed, he went into an elevator, went to the top floor, and jumped out of the building. Right there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he couldn't handle it because yeah. he wasn't the toughest. Your health is 40. You should have saved him. But Nah, uh, I got a feeling he would just keep getting out and doing it again. It could have been entertaining for a while, but it, it would just slow down the rest of the game, I think. That way you could write down well, the like that you gained. It, maybe I should have said, see if the other players would have enjoyed it. And then Just watching him. Okay, what are you doing? Nothing. We're going to watch him. Over here. I'm going home, guys. Okay. Because <laughs> your character will, will get hurt. Oh, sure. um, actually, I found a chart that I'm looking at, and I'm looking at closer. So that's kind of you know how like in Total Trolls we get into negatives. Yeah. There's actually like a chart, almost like a critical hit chart, going negative for how much you're down. What happens? To you. So that accounts for like broken bones and things like that, maybe. Well, possibly it depends on what you roll. It could be like possibly if like there's one low enough, it'd be like. Negative 60, <laughs> your head comes off. Aww. Like instant death ones, too. But we're not doing that game tonight. This is Marvel Superheroes. Mutants of Future Past. Very confusing. I have so many plans. <coughs> so many plans. Well, good thing because this actually, and although we still have your old picture there, this isn't gonna bother This will be changing no. soon, which means you'll have to send me some new ones, and I'm gonna have to maybe draw some people's pictures. My cousin. Oh, well, computer do them. I don't know if I still can. Depends on how my hands have been feeling. But <coughs> drawing people's characters, drawing everyone a character up here, picture. Now, what I was talking to me about that for is because you guys took off to Canada to escape. The evil sentinel situations. So, once you got there... Yes, they did. They're already in every country. They're international. They're not really technically it's only a U.S. Because they're underground anyways. But yeah, they took off to Canada and got involved there uh, hiding because they didn't do all the rules against the mutants as much. I'm picking on Mike. Besides, the problem with that whole theory is, if you do that, <laughs> then all the mutants will go to other nations. So isn't that really a bad idea? <laughs> My needle goes to Russia. You're like, oh, great. Now we're going to really get our ass kicked. I don't want the shirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're now, right. To pick on... Genosha. Genosha? Well, interesting to bring that up. Tell you what's been going on since you guys been gone. We're picking up a year later. This is a one year later scene. It would be down here on the bottom. One year later. You guys at this point, first of all, you're all issued requests for code names. And you will be given shield uniforms, which are basically costumes. Uh, these have defensive values. So I guess we're, you know, we'll go into all this soon. You're also going to receive some training. I think I know what my code name is already. Okay. Catastrophe. 
catastrophe. Okay. It's just like, uh, technically, I could cause a catastrophe level event. Did you know if you lift uh, a heavy enough thing up into the upper atmosphere and dropped it, you could destroy a continent? Yeah. Because the, yeah. the impact is actually more powerful than a bomb explodes above the surface. But if you can strike it hard enough, the plates move. We're all floating on a bed of lava. Yeah, gravity's my favorite thing, isn't it? The problem is, <coughs> unless you were to take something from the moon, yeah. <coughs> it would take a lot of resources to get something up there big enough to do this with. Maybe. I've been doing research. You shouldn't say that publicly. No, I wouldn't. I, I'm a catastrophe level mutant, but I'm not a catastrophe myself. Oh, okay. Now, you also will be given some weaponry. Those that have gun skills will be given more weaponry than those that don't. Those that do not have the skill will get trained to use that specific weapon. And you'll get to choose of three types. One's an automatic gun. One's a copy of Nick Fury's Needler pistol. Hey! <laughs> and then there's a a pistol that goes to a backpack with a cable. <laughs> so that one's like really obvious, but it's the most powerful. But it takes a backpack to fuel to fire it up. Okay. One year later. Also, I mentioned Lorelai. If you remember from last time I mentioned, she's still been missing. No one's even mentioned if she went to a prison or something. Some say she may have just up and disappeared. She hid herself. So, um, also though, give you some other information. On what's going on? Well, jeez, I forgot almost. You get through all this stuff here. There's the where I usually start off with discussing things about the world. The badness of this world. Well, I guess this kind of is covering that. Maybe we'll have more section later. But right now, All I heard was six. there's a group <laughs> called MAC. It's a new political movement that is try that's been working with the concept of relocating mutants. If you don't want to be where you are, you show up, you register, you get your information, and we'll find a place to set you where it will be safest for you. Um, some people have been starting to register. Um, also, though, Senator McGrafton's been talking. He created a group called the NASI. And uh, they believe in, uh, well, if the mutants don't want to get the hell out of here, we're just going to eliminate them or arrest them because they just can't be out in public and we hate them. But he is in support of the Mac society, the system of getting everyone out. Um, I'll have to check to see it actually stands for something. <coughs> but basically it's relocation camp to move you somewhere else. Also, um, by what you remember from your past, and this is the question I need to ask you, as in catastrophe, um, when you were in the camps, you uh, had so you met a couple people. If you were to discuss what you knew about them, would you do it publicly or secretly? I'd specifically talk to a hacker privately. Oh no, hacker's gone. Wait, what? Yeah, what? Uh, hacker's gone? Yeah. They all ended up part. You guys got kind of like you're like all that's left is you, just you guys. Although healer shows up at a car at times. Healer's got a unique ability, so she still shows up occasionally. What about Porter? Porter? Oh, gone. But you still train with him. But he's, they don't, he's too young for them to want... They do not support him coming back. He's underage. Yeah, we were all underage. I'm, what, 17 now? You're legal age in Canada. What, to drink now? Yeah, now you're allowed to die. Well, you're allowed to go back and help your mutant people if that's what you want to do. You could stop by 
Turning off the computer now. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, um, because, well, they got information they want to check with you on this. And the question is, do you want me to write to you and give you the information, like through Messenger later on tonight, that will state what you know about these people, or would you share it with these other people? So probably the main four. Okay, that's well. Yeah, that's well, yeah. You main four. This one's new, so she's starting to stand outside. Yeah, yeah. Go stand over there. She's gonna stand in the corner of the room. She no. Go stand in the corner of the room. Go like this. Go la 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 Okay. Yes, it would be entertaining. <laughs> well then, we will start with a couple issues. One. You can't call me that. Mac, oh, you're Mac? Are you Mac now? Mac Daddy? McDonald's? Two, two cheeseburgers? <laughs> it's comfort food. That was literally the only reason I liked working there is that I got fifty percent off. And you I get a lot. <laughs> it saved you a lot of money, huh? Ironically, I didn't gain that much weight. I think only ten pounds. I was so one time working there as a maintenance manager, and I I, I got all those points to use, and most of the time I just bought salads because after you, I worked there for a while, I, I just got tired of a lot of it. <laughs> um, the salads with chicken. What? If I go like this, my head is covered. Don't do that. If I even go like this, my head is covered. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She wants to be seen. Not heard. Oh, I'll give her that already, I guess. That's not any better. <laughs> so it looks just like her? But with a big, scary, hairy man's face. The smile is very, uh, unnerving. I'll give you that. That's to scare the players. Watch people watching. What the hell was that? Mine looks like a, a robot, but only the head. Oh, yeah. We'll get more. We'll get, like I said, I'm going to get everyone working on stuff so I, you guys kind of can take a chance to think about it. And I can help you like I used to. To help develop your character into a more of a concept based upon your powers. You will get a uniform that will give you good protection. So if you want to write this down, everyone you might want to write this down. So you can actually uh, write this on your character sheet on the paper. And this is that your... Uh, uh, you, you can write it... Just pull it out a little bit or just write it for now and we'll leave it later. There. Okay, you're getting a suit. And next to the suit, write 10 slash 4. You give, everyone gets one. That's your uniform. That's your suit. It's a shield, standard shield suit. Your uniform. What it is, is it gives 10 points protection versus physical, 4 points versus energy. Um... Let's see if I can find the page about it. <clears throat> Probably not, because I printed it up. And now it's gone. Um, well, are people pu puking that I missed? <laughs> huh? Mike was being all gushy gushy to Amanda, so I started going, vomits a little. Gats oh. and throws things at you. <laughs> okay. I guess I understand. You guys all right over there? No, it's Clayman's workshop. We need help. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. I can't help on that one. Okay. Well, I printed this stuff out, but now I lost it. Boy, life sucks to be me. Okay. Um... 
Good. Well, I'm going to have to. I. No falling asleep. I have to step off for just a second. No why? Because I need. <laughs> There's a list I have, a page, that explain the weapons that are available. Hey, Bill. Come this way a little bit. He's escaping. You can push the chair in a little bit. Okay. She wants you on camera, even though we only see the back of your head. We want to know that there's a head there, right? <laughs> I can see him straight on and you, so it's funny. Damn it. It's like I'll be down to get to see the girls in the camera on, on YouTube and then you guys on my monitor. Okay. Kind of segregated party? A fun one. An American party. Okay, I'm gonna have to go print some off. Be right back. Power of computers. Guess I got it over here. So I am giving. I am dealing Mike shit, and I don't care. Shit. <laughs> so Mike said, "Move back a fart." And so I told him to move back a fart. <laughs> How about a so you guys part? know how Cristelia is a little uh, up and easy for the fighting and wants to kill people real quick, like? Cristelia who? Is she a new mutant? Alexis? <laughs> the, uh, the Tunnels and Trolls game. Okay, what about it? She seems real up in arms last time I tried to talk to her about what happened with the fairy and very threatening. So I'm not coming on the half life of my fairy for long. But I have a really good idea from that leprechaun. <laughs> Watch out, like like we've been saying, she has teeth. I said all we need to do is just like bring her in for some questioning. She already told me a lot. She already told me that she was lip-led. She pretty much all but admitted that she killed the other fairy. True. Now that's a little beheading between friends. <laughs> So there's a reason why I have this table. Because yeah. when there's two people over here, they tend to come over on my side. When there's two people over here, they tend to come over here. So, so it keeps you blocked. Um, I could just move all my stuff yeah. over here. I cannot find. You can also change the angle of the table. No, we can't. <laughs> there's not that much space. Yeah, that's what the black background's for. Magic! <laughs> no, see, uh, you can't walk behind my chair and get by. And you can't walk behind me either. No. Nope. Uh-huh. Sure you are. That's okay. just Bill. He's flirtatious. <laughs> <laughs> Your coffee is done. Nothing. Your Nothing. The coffee's done. Mm -hmm. Get a cup. Do all your characters drink? Yes, they do. This one just drinks coffee. Didn't even think it'd be in there, but it, I ended up it was. Okay. <laughs> First thing, I should be on that tight because what that. What are you taking, being in for? That. Well, it's great. I am the party. What's right. wrong? Oh, just my foot. Bill Cephas. He ah. just wants to block the entire screen for as long as possible. <laughs> no, my foot. It's only like a quarter of the screen. Maybe only like... Uh, 10%? Sure, I'll take a 
So now he can like take extra time getting someone else to cut too. <laughs> Kind of, it's, it's kind of off from it a little bit, but I don't feel like fixing it right now. <laughs> God damn it, this is just taking too long. And now I see what you did, Tilly, and you see it. The time lapse is showing me the darkness. Okay. <laughs> You'd be like, what was that about? Oh, I see! <laughs> well, Funny ears, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. You can assume every shadow above your head is a funnier. Okay! I took a sip of my coffee. Now, <laughs> now that we may continue on with this. Yeah, I'm not touching it. Okay, everyone has down about your suits, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All uniforms are made of two or of nine ply Kevlar. Trail able to withstand ballistic impact of up to 45 caliber slugs and fire resistant beta cloth. They give you a good protection versus physical and a poor protection versus energy. That's why you have these weird looking suits on you. <laughs> that sounds very uncomfortable, but you are in Canada. You gotta keep yourself warm. Where's nine pairs of underwear? I? <laughs> okay, now. Next step. Who has a gun skill? I do. Those of you that have gun skills, I have a list that will go around, and I'll just tell you, Morgan. I was going to say, um, there's only one person that has gun skill. It's here, person. I want to know you all get to pick one off it, though. If you don't want one, that's fine. <coughs> Long guns. Okay. Because the types of guns are a uh, .15 caliber uh, needle gun. Oh, wait. Six area range. Carries about 300 rounds. Does about excellent damage. I want. Okay. Write that down. Needle gun. Uh, I got it. 300 rounds. You don't have to worry too much on the rounds. Just refill it in between battles. Needle gun. And then excellent damage, six area range. That's also for you. You get one. And so does Morgan. Needle gun. Yes, six spaces. Um, excellent damage. Okay. Another type of gun that's up for option, and you guys will get that have a gun skill, is a shield plasma beam handgun. It's weapon. This weapon contains a pinch bottle of magnetic field plasma projected. It shoots about three areas and does incredible damage. It can fire six shots before it has to be reloaded with these like grenade sized canisters. Um, or you have a, a cable going to a backpack tank that can carry 12. Oh, nice. You got a new one. Three area range, incredible damage. But those, the bad point for you, those of you that don't have skills, if you need a gun, then this is the only one you have, this is what you have to try to walk around in public with? You can hand it to me. Well, you can carry one, anyone, you, anyone can carry one possibly, the point is, um, you will probably be noticed for it. But if you can only carry one, then that's a bad choice. You know, maybe take something a little more normal. My gun stay in my But it does the most damage. The last one is the Shield 30 caliber rapid fire automatic machine pistol. If you want, just write Shield machine pistol. You only get one gun. Shield. No, he gets three. And so does Morgan. Shield. They both have deep gun skills. It was a Shield what? Machine pistol. Machine. Six area range, good damage. Machine. You can also turn it to um, burst fire. For one column shift increase of damage and auto fire for two column shift damage bonus, but you also lose equal amount of um, targeting skill. Okay, so the, I can either do regular, regular burst, or single burst or auto. Reg or okay, so I'm gonna do a reg burst or auto burst 
or auto. Yeah. You can take a machine pistol if you want, Morgan. Do you want it? Um, I want to have the three types, the needle gun. The yeah, needle that's what you're supposed to have. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, the other three of you, you already you grabbed one. How about you two? I don't want a gun. Okay. I don't want a gun. Okay. So, the, the other one was the uh, 50 cam. Yeah, the second one was what? The second gun was a shield plasma beam handgun. Shield plasma. What powers did your friend get? Plasma. Beam and uh, handgun. Um. She got Better not copy me, bitch. Shrinking Sound Generation and Dark Force Manipulation. Fucking bitch, Dark Force is so good. <laughs> you got good. And it was what character's name too. You Luna. Luna. Now next stage. You got your uniforms and your guns issued by Shield. They want you to make sure you're safe before you enter back into America because it's dangerous for mutants. I ask you a question. Well, we have to go back to America. Yes. No! Yes. No. Yes. No. Um, you don't really have a citizenship. No, because I'm a free agent, bitch. You actually don't have a birth certificate. Yeah, NG1243. That's where you got your number. NG4231. 4321? Is that what you wanted it to be? That's what it is on YouTube. Yeah. We'll get rid of that and put your name next time. And we'll get a picture sometime soon. Yep. Well, then I'll have to color it. She'll be so colored. You just send it and I'll put it up. I'll scan it in, put it on the uh, Photoshop, and color it with Photoshop. Or I'll just use colored pens. I'll print it off from the computer and then color it with colored pencils. Don't you about my gel pens? <laughs> now, the next issue to deal with has to do with. And I'll cover again as to why you're going back after we're done here. Next thing is training over the last year. You can pick one ability to raise to remarkable. Resist radiation. Okay, raise it to remarkable. Remarkable. Would it be smarter for me to lift one of my other ones or bring up gravity manipulation? Because gravity is already a Probably yeah, better yeah. to go up. In a different one? Or <clears throat> if you don't have one that's close, but if you want a gravity control at Remarkable, then do it. Yeah, it said 17 or in for X, so just put it up to what, what's the first yeah. rate now? Uh, for Remarkable, I'll actually put you at 30, right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. My so that's what they trained you up to. I fell asleep with them all. Also, and you've been training with Portal for a while still. Mm -hmm. um, I need glasses anyway. And then the next one is, everyone, bring your fighting ability, if it's not already at excellent, up to excellent. To excellent. Oh, my fighting if you have an excellent or higher, let me know. No, I don't, so just turn it up to excellent. Yep, and excellent is 20 points. Tell me if that's any 20. better. Now, help her with that, dear. Huh? Help her with that. Yeah, my glasses got bent. Okay, her what? Okay, did you deal with her getting a power to Remarkable? Get one of your abilities to Remarkable. Do you want your agility Remarkable? Yeah. Or she should definitely put up her black, uh, dark matter manipulation. What are you talking about? That is probably the best ability she has. I said she's excellent. I'm going to raise everyone's fighting already. Do you want that from good to remarkable? Yeah. Okay. Go Put that remarkable 30. Who else? Um, I want to get at least my... At least my strength out of, out of an 8. 
You want to get, oh, well, that won't get to a mark road. You're, you don't have it as superior strength, but you can get to excellent 20. On my strength? Yep, start working out. Yeah, you've been, we're spending a year on steroids and working out. <laughs> I've been pumped up. <laughs> it's part of the steroids problem. Okay? Now, also everyone's strength, or if fighting goes to excellent, 20 points. If you already have a fighting that high, go to remarkable. What do you have, Maxman? On what? Strength? Fighting. Fighting is excellent. Okay, so you get to go to remarkable, 30 points. My fighting. Hers is remarkable. Remarkable? She stays at remarkable. They don't have anyone to train you better than that. How many pounds? Well, that's that's fighting is its pounds. Oh, God. No, no, gravity. Oh, is your gravity control at? Uh, it's uh, remarkable now. It was at eight hundred. Yeah, let me check here. Finger, sometimes I have to go like this. Physical strength, remarkable, two thousand pounds. Oh. Wait, physical strength? Yeah. No, no, that's why it lives. Uh, remarkable strength. Um, gravity control. Right? 2,000 pounds. Okay. Now I can legit crush someone. Yeah, you can hurt someone now. You can do 30 points. The average person, the average street person is like 24 points. So you can take someone down in one round. They want you guys to be able to defend yourselves this time. You guys have your uniforms, you have your guns, you'll be dropped off around the area where you used to live. <clears throat> um, but first, let's discuss again why. They need you guys to check out a couple things. Senator McGrafton. Dead. He used to work. Dead. At the prison where you were at, Morgan. You worked with him. Dead. You went around keeping track of information for him. You were an analyst. Dead. I'm good at it. <laughs> and, uh, well, he always seemed up front kind of a friendly guy. But he's not dead. But he was kind of a dick, you know, when people weren't looking. And, like, acting like you didn't realize. You know what I mean? <laughs> now... <laughs> Senator McGrafton is going to start a rally for his new political movement, the NASI. National Security Party. Um, he's starting it because he used to live in this area, right in Tri-Cities. Because he hates the politics of the East Coast. I'm listening. Um... So that's where we're currently at. <laughs> you guys need to find out more about him. As well as there's a guy in town, in the area still, that was the general who ran the camp, General William Braddock of the U.S. Army. What? He ran the camp that I'm you were locked in for a while. you and Bill having a staring contest to each other. <laughs> um... Sentinel activity has actually seemed to have decreased in the area. <clears throat> and they're not sure what's going on either. I say you he dead. Hopefully. <laughs> if he happens to be dead. He is dead. D E D dead. That wouldn't be so bad. We think he's uh Well the McGrafton company's been uh experimenting with sentinels we've heard. Dead. Um uh, no, the only thing of Iron Man's suit is uh, Sentinels grabbed Tony Stark's equipment and made a suit of their own for certain soldiers to wear. There's 12 of them called Mantels. I almost made that joke. Which are armor men uh, the, built by Sentinels. So they put their color scheme of Sentinel. I actually do have a picture of one. Here he is. I, uh, there we go. Yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. 
<laughs> now you take it away, Nanny. It's, it's still there. Yeah. It's still there. He's an Iron Man type character, which means there's a guy in an armor working for the Sentinels. It's actually 12 of them. But there is one been seen in the area. Um, now, you guys have your training, you have your stuff. And I also have a storage locker out there by Finley. And there will be two vehicles there. We so if you just, need them. We were just out that way earlier today. Yep, there's a storage center out there. It's one that's right where we sometimes go fishing in one direction. No, 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 no. And go buy vapor products the other way. Tilly. What? I just want to confirm with the party before we go on. Did we agree that we weren't going to be villains? Or was there just like a code of conduct we talked about ahead of time? I'm just not quite sure what's going on. <laughs> Nick Fury will inform you that it doesn't really matter. You're, uh, you're in a situation of, you're the minority in a racial war. Okay, so we kill or be killed? If it comes down to it. I wouldn't kill civilians because it won't help your situation any. But if an armed police officer or someone comes at you, uh, unless you want to be deported from the country by Mac Incorporated. Where are they going to deport me to? Oh, they have, they haven't told anyone. They have a camp that they send all these mutants to. And the committee that runs Mac is a mutant-based committee. There's mutants in the committee, all mutants. So they take people's information. So you can kind of know. Um, we don't want to send a bunch of mind control people to where in the middle there's a bunch of town with people that have minds, you know, it's, what do you need? He has no ID, she has no ID. Um, no, that doesn't matter. If you sign up to register with Mac, you're given temporary ID until the day of departure. Okay, so alias, um, my question is, what's our popularity? <laughs> well, it's whose popularity? Your guys's? Huh? No, because most people don't know it. God dang it, I thought I was going to be famous. Well, maybe you'll get a chance, because you're going back in these flashy costumes. Oh, God. Calamity shall be my name. You guys can decide what you look like and what your names are. Do anyone have code names for themselves? We have Catastrophe? Wild Man, I guess. Wild Man? Because that's what everybody calls me! Okay. Uh, yeah. Luna? Galaxy. Now you be Luna. If uh, you want. Nice. Okay. That'd be your name. We can say Luna. no one knows your real name. Your your code name's all they know because you came in late. Luna. Uh, yes. You can be white or you can change your name to something <laughs> based on your powers. Uh, Cameron Tiger. Uh, hey. Hey. Skinwalker. This is Taylor here. That sounds good. <laughs> you want to be Skinwalker? Yeah. Okay. How about you? Uh, you just Skinwalker. I was gonna go with Wolf Girl. Wolf Girl. I feel like this starts too many for us Wolf Girl? Are you trying to be Wolf's Bane? No. I said Wolf Girl. No one knows Wolf Bane. What are you talking about? I don't know. Now, you will be landed a week prior to this rally. Do you have a time to like meet the mutants in the area, check with the other mutant headquarter groups, the undergrounds, maybe pick up some people and bring them back? Yes, I'm going to pick them up and bring them back. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, who's driving vehicles? Obviously our driver. You and there's two of them. There's a truck and a Jeep. I call the Jeep. You want the Jeep? Into the truck. I'll it's got that. gauges. You can be taught how to drive the truck because you already have a pilot. Wait, here. is it my truck? No. Do you want your truck? No. Okay, your truck's safe up north. You drive it around, Canada. and he hit the uh, local donut shops and ordered coffee and donuts, oh, yeah. and drive to the next Tim Hortons. That's all he does. He's he's traveling around with his big empty truck to look like he's carrying my mutants around. You know what's funny? 
See? You already see. Now they're coming back from uh, Abbotsford. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they'd have to go to Toronto for one of them accents, eh? Well, they're not there. They didn't stay long enough. They stayed in Shield headquarters. Now, I have one more thing before you guys get ready to leave. The Canadians enter the room. Wait, why are you swearing at me? <laughs> About the Canadians? The Canucks. The Canadians are entering the room. You know, Canuck is the name of a superhero? You know, everybody's a goof in this room. Goof, <laughs> goof, goof. I wonder how popular that that Disney movie is, huh? What, a Goofy movie? Yeah. Goof Troop. Goof Troop. <laughs> All the kids go over to Goofy's house! Goofy's <laughs> Okay! <laughs> Canadians come into the room. Hey, Goofs! A general, um, of the oh Canadian God. military. Goof. General Mountie. Just general. No. You it, don't need to know my term, my name, your mutants. It's General Goofy. But we have an offer for anyone that wants to take it. What is that offer? Anyone want to enter the uh, weapon program we have? We're trying to, since we can't find Omega level mutants anymore, to help make them. I raise my hand. Uh, I'm the closest you're going to get to an Omega level. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's a super soldier program. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me give you an example of the super soldier problem known as the Weapon X program. Remember Sabretooth in the movies where he had black hair? <coughs> that is Sabretooth before Weapon X. Uh -huh. When he became blonde in the movies. You know what I mean? He didn't seem to do it unless he was told what to do. <laughs> that is Sabretooth after Weapon X. Yeah, the 2000s, before they switched him over for the new universe, which they were... Um, but basically, if you look at the characters and how the Weapon X program went, in the comic books, Sabretooth went through a change. Yeah. Originally, he had no claws. Iron Man defeated, or Iron Fist defeated him by taking his gloves off. Um, that was, he, be, he beat him. But that was before the Weapon X program. Weapon X program does not necessarily mean animanium. Now, certain things. We will say up front, due to Nick Fury here informed us we needed to. Colonel he said Nick doo -doo. Fury. <laughs> um, that <clears throat> it's not safe. No. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I understand the risks. Not safe is my middle name. Um, you could end up a little slow <clears throat> afterwards. Uh, maybe... Well, you could end up dead. Politically incorrect. But, hopefully if you're in... Since you're mutants, this practice does... The Weapon X program was originally designed for people. Um, because Nick here won't share the secret of super soldiers. Pointing at Nick Fury. So, yeah, Nick Fury is still alive. But isn't that not his secret, though? Just, just to be clear, like, just from, just from, like, public knowledge, say. That he has it? So that he has no idea. He wasn't the one that invented it. Oh, that he... he forgot yours again? Yes. Uh, the uh, super soldier program was actually invented by a Nazi and scientist. No, but Nick Fury's had it done to him. That's why Nick Fury's still alive. Yeah, because he's a super bitch. Super bitch. Okay. Super bitch. Who <laughs> wants to be mutant next? I put my hand up. The two of you? <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Through the intense pain of the procedure, subjects must surpass an endurance feet roll. Pain turns me on. Make an endurance. What's your endurance? Make a feet roll. Roll. Tell me endurance and roll. My endurance is good. Okay. 
I don't need to tell you what mine is. I can just tell you what color I went to. Seventy-three. That's green. Wait, Ninety-five. One the number. Ninety-five, which What's is your? a yellow. On oh. a good. On a good. Okay, so both had the same. Okay, first step. Roll a psych roll. Alright. At amazing. What's your psych? What's a typical? Typical? Go down to zero. What do you have? Wait, what? It's okay. Go, what are you, typical? One, two, three, yeah. four, five. Move, lo lose five column shifts. Yeah. So I'll let you have zero. Okay. I'm at zero too then. Yep. Roll on it? Yep. 66. Oh no, 69, sorry. 90. 69 and 66. 90. 66. You're no. both good. <coughs> or have your reason and psych reduced to feeble. Oh, did we not say that beforehand? <laughs> I like this game. Oh, and become a mad berserking machine. We're not done. They're all chicken. They're all no. They don't want to be damaged mentally and physically. Wait, what? Hey, so you want to jump in now? Just hearing what they were doing. Yes. We're not done yet. Huh? No, I want to jump in. We're not done yet. No, no, I don't, I don't know. We're not doing it. I can't so much more powerful. What about Tiger Boy? Okay, wait, stop. Let's give you your advantages finally. Maybe people's opinions will change. But I should do something to make it more difficult for those that follow because they didn't decide at first when they didn't know. I'm not going to do it. Well, then you probably made a good decision. For you. Ready? Yep. Stat advantages. Where's your character? Excuse me. Wait, wait, you're going to upgrade your stats, right? Yep, because the, the uh, Weapon X program mutates your body. Can you make it? <laughs> nope. Two more. That's two. We'll be taking a break about in about 10, 20 minutes. It's because I was seeing Chris Cross on the end. Well, we'll see. We're going to keep going as much as I can because it took me a while to get things going. So maybe I'll skip it. Wait, wait. You're Huh? Sorry, I'm looking at the comments. Should I take over? Table. <laughs> I keep telling you. Out of, out of game. Out of hey, it. hey, no. hey. Who wants stats? Me! What's your fighting currently? My fighting right now is yes. excellent. Both of you have excellent. No, mine's remarkable. Yours is remarkable. Uh, both of you guys just went too amazing. 50 points. Nice. <coughs> now, there's still negative effects that automatically happen. We haven't gotten to those. Such as your berserk prone. Your bear part will come out more. You might be furrier. You can decide <laughs> if you want to do that. Okay, what's your agility? Both of you. Good. Yeah. Uh, it's a funny, but it's good. Remarkable for both of you. 30. Strength. My strength is excellent. My strength is good. Both you two rem Good. To incredible! Yay! Yep. That's endurance, right? Strength. No, strength. strength, sorry. Same thing, though. No. Well, yeah, I just it from, from my bonus when I did the math. Next one, endurance. Good. Incredible! 40 for both of you. Yay! Okay. <laughs> you have a 
What's your intuition? Excellent. Uh, my intuition is yeah. four, but... Okay, intuition, excellent. Monstrous, <laughs> 75. What'd you have? What's yours? Four. Four? Three, four. Remarkable, 30. Next. Um, tracking equal to your intuition. Wait, we get tracking? Yep. Okay, so my tracking would be monstrous. Yep. For you. Regular bear. Sonny smells food everywhere. Food. Hence the kitchen. Uh, so it's eating old cushioning. <laughs> your bear. They love that stuff, man. I latch on to uh, Bill White's lane of... Okay. I'm going to look more music, like the picture. What? I want to look more music, like the picture I sent you guys. That's fine. That could happen during the change. So that's this is basically how your characters can look more like your characters if your character doesn't wasn't recovering that. You might have an issue of uh, rejection. Because Same with you. Because we're already half animal. No, because you're shape changers. Oh, yeah. Oh, my to do that. It might it de reject it. Yeah, because our mutations <laughs> might... Uh, well, when you change shape, it might try to leave something behind and maybe even like remove your uh, shape changing ability. Yeah. Like shape changing ability with a skeleton. Yeah. Well, then you're stuck in that shape. Don't want to do that. No, so. shit. Wait, would you be able to beat Skeleton? Um, well, if you wanted to be shape changed into a skeleton, yeah. If you knew that, if you rolled for that, learned how to do that. Neither of them are actually limited. She's limited to animals. What is he limited to? What he learns to do. Oh, so you can shape shift into just about anything. These are looking like different people. Mine doesn't look like monsters. Yeah. What do you think I'm constantly doing? Yeah, he can do like King Kong if he yeah, starts spending up points. Uh, Psych? No. Psych has a big chance to drop to feeble. <laughs> I get unlimited data, unlimited calls, unlimited text. Yeah, add your first four stats. This? Okay, it was 33. For which? No, no, add your first four stats. Fighting, agility, strength, and endurance. Tell me the nut words. Ten. Or no, you're just, is that on it? Fifty, thirty, forty, forty. So it's the total two? Fifty, well look how many, you have a character, you have a hit chart, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, use the numbers on that. So anything I raise, just put it the regular number. I'm giving you guys a little bonus on the way to your next level. This disturbs I think one year has passed. And now you need to go back. Did you know the area? Oh god, and what's going on. coming out. But we have Oh no. Yeah, he's even more fairy. Fairy. I'm all furry. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're furry. See see Bill White, this is what fur is. That's hair. But he's stronger. He's now Olympic built. Up the strength, I can actually hurt people now. Yes. Now. Wait, 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 wait. Your health? First four stats. Give me your numbers. Amazing, remarkable, incredible, incredible. Amazing, remarkable, incredible, incredible, incredible. 160. Woohoo! Both got kind of the same. You guys like look similar. <laughs> Except for one's a female. You're a female, right, Morgan? Yeah, my character's female. Yeah, okay. 
the female, the male's a female, female's a male. So we're all gender fluid here. My health is now one sixty. Ha ha! Take that, bitch. Tilly, you should show uh, them the picture of what my character looks like. Um, I will let her. Oh wait. Can you pull it up? It is in the chat. Ow! Oh. It's hidden. It's hidden in the chat. Put it on the desktop later, dear, and I'll pull it off and put it on a uh, disc. And walk back there and do what I can with it. Are you going to put me on a disc? Yes! Is there a problem with that? That's illegal. Uh-uh. Only if I do th funny things with the disc. But putting you there is not a problem. No, well, no, it's mostly physical stats. You're gonna have to send it to me again. No. I'm afraid I have Can we do this later? We're in the middle of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Do it later. But send it again if you have a chance. Just in case. If you don't have it, that's fine. Okay. Since there are more, and then I'll work from that. How's that sound? Then maybe I'll have I'll I'll give you some of the ideas to the other characters, and we'll see what you come up with. Just for fun. Your character is like the lady from um, The Incredibles. Remember the character from Incredibles, the lady, the short lady. She made all the costumes, Edna. So you're the team Edna. Wait, who me? <laughs> Edna's my favorite character. Otherwise, if I draw the characters, they're all going to look like Jevin characters. Oh. Oh. Maybe we don't want that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Ding, ding. Okay. Everyone done? Anyone else want to jump in? I want to jump in. You really want to jump in? Yeah. She really wants to do it, guys. Do it, do it, do it, do it. No, I'm doing it. You're not a shape changer. Okay. Um, you need first. What is your endurance? Your endurance is good. Good. Make a roll. Please survive. One. Please do. Five. <laughs> Okay, what's your weakness? Oh no. Stim energy. Energy dampening. 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 Negation. Power negation. Okay. Um. Put a plus one next to it. It's now a little worse. You you screwed with your genetics. Cool. Thank you. But it's not all for nothing. I have a chart for this situation too. Yep, your body rejected the entire thing. Kicked it out. Kicked your butt. I want to be stronger. Nope. <laughs> I'm busy where I'm at. Same here. Yeah, after she got spit out. <laughs> Screaming in pain. Oh, you hear the... <laughs> she passed out. It's like, one needle hit her and she goes, Ow! <laughs> I don't think she's going to work. Why? We didn't pierce the skin. We we just we just grazed her skin a little bit and she, she freaked screamed. out. That was it. And her powers mutated just from that much. We haven't touched you yet. I was just practicing. Just being ahead. Okay. Where did I put that chart? I think you ate it. No. Nope. Another one's goddamn. Charge I can't find my stuff. Hey! Huh? God didn't damn it. The beavers did. Screw the beavers. Beavers are shit. You're right! Screw the beavers! Pl blame Trump! Oh. Yes, I said it! Yeah! You're so brave. We already, oh, know, he's, we already know he's guilty. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. I'll send my shit. My show's canceled. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're like, man, you cracker. You have nothing else to do. 
Okay. <laughs> huh? Well, we're going to check and see how things are going, and then maybe next week, if, they, if there's a spot available. But, you know, as soon as you start bringing the extra people, suddenly everyone will show up and they'll be like, God damn it! Now everyone's got to stand around the table. Not me, because I already have a table over here. <laughs> I could be just sitting at my table going, nope, no. Oh. You can't sit at my table. Mm -mm. Nope. Not sharing my <laughs> table. Fuck no. <laughs> That's so fetch. So fetch? <laughs> Keep trying. Society loves it. Uh oh. Oh my god! I love so many that. old episodes, the first couple seasons. I own the full, the first season, and I just started the second season. Oh, no, I didn't care for it, sorry. I made my friend, it's like um, the light version of, uh, was it Horror Story? Oh. Let's say those actresses, though, are some of the worst. I like I'm the concept, really for this. but they're just bad. Okay, rope so. change dice. Oh Here. my god. Upper rope change right. dice. I'm gonna roll those oh. again. Thirty-one. Ah. Ooh, you got hurt. Ah. They had to start surgery on her. Roll percentage dice. Those two again. Those two. Really? Just someone Twenty-nine. Oh. Apparently, did they start licking you tonight? <laughs> oh! Okay, they had to reinforce your spine. Jesus Christ. See, so have armored spine now. But, you gained a cloaking power. Roll percentage size. Ooh. Roll. 50. Amazing. <laughs> so, amazing cloaking. Well, she could disappear into a dark force. So, right, cloaking? Amazing. Oh, not dark horse. Not sorry, dark horse. She could make the dark hole, the black holes. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We're talking about two different fundamental ways of doing it. <laughs> Yeah, but <coughs> that would make it takes less effort to do more power. Preston, <coughs> seem to be on my side today. Nope. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Plus the darkness fits the uh, moon idea. <coughs> you can disappear into darkness. Now, as you can guess, this is not much help out in the desert. Because there's a lot of sun. Yeah, so, you know, you can look like a lot of shadow. By the way, does the dice look different? Are they rabbit dice? Did they change the dice? the dice on the start! Okay! <laughs> now! <That's happened>. So! <laughs> um, anyone else want to uh, ask a question again before we all get on the big plane? What is wrong with you? <laughs> big plane! My! Ah! Code names! Catastrophe? Kids next door. <laughs> Anyone else? Wild man. Wild man? I'm sticking with Luna. Shinwalker? I'm sticking with Luna. No way! Since I'm not really known. Tristan my, doesn't have one. My name has changed. Uh oh, was it now? I'm Caveman. <laughs> Captain Caveman? Captain Caveman! Sorry. I had to go with that old cartoon. Caveman of the Bear Clan! Yes! <laughs> go with the whole long name. I was actually going through memory lane watching cartoons last They're night. like, okay, who are you going to be? 
He went through surge through, through there, came out and going, I am now caveman. You alright? <laughs> oh, I love no, no, I just Dave mean the, the name. Barbarian. <laughs> that was the best show on Toon Disney. I like Gru the Barbarian, but that was a comic book. Who was? Gru the, Gru the, Gru the Barbarian. It was drawn yeah. by one of the guys yeah. from yeah. Mad Magazine. Yeah. How many people him. here have watched Dexter's Laboratory? Oh, oh wow. Right. Ow. Ow. Everyone. <laughs> anyway, it, that's where Seth MacFarlane got his start. 10 spike damage, 12. That's where... I was watching that one. Um, but no, he got his start actually on uh, Johnny Bravo. Oh, God, Johnny Bravo. Because Johnny Bravo is also where yeah. he created the character Adam West, who was played by Adam West. Same character. That's what he did before, the days before um, he became mayor, I guess. He was a car salesman. He sold everything. I like the one when Cleveland finally asked him questions, and he's like, I think you do this crazy act just because you, like, you kill people. Okay. And then he gets angry. Let's fight. Continue. Continuing on. We all have our stuff. Everyone's got their gear. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gone. You're flying over Washington State. Plane is cloaked. You seen shield. Now, when you land, we have some vehicles that have been confiscated from an other, another military group before they had to flee also. You may have heard of them, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is a Marvel product. That's why Disney got G.I. Joe. We're snake eyes. No, we don't have that. We're just the vehicles. <laughs> Most of them are dead. They didn't like any, the Sentinels didn't like anyone with uh, special training, so they destroyed most of them. A lot of Cobra people started working for the Sentinels. What? Um, yeah, they didn't like, they didn't trust anyone. So slowly it was all outlawed. Yeah, but that's all these people I think wanted. You know, they're kind of like Republicans. Okay. They put away my mutant X things. We're not going back. Oh, Weapon X. We're not going back to that. We got some people tougher. One person was kind of screwed up and is a little more allergic to uh, being having your powers manifest and change, which is this. If you were ever caught and they put neutralizers on you to take away your powers, it could have detrimental effects to your health. And it could actually permanently destroy you. Some, I think it's her. Has the same problem? I have the same issue. Or is he you? I do. Okay, I knew someone had it where you couldn't be locked up. That's why you are working as an analyst so cleanly. <coughs> now, down you go. Whee! Whee! Atlanta, you guys should just step out, actually. <laughs> Who here has a skydiving skill? <laughs> Y'all jump. These guys are all willing to just jump without any skill in a parachute. I know if you do like that. <laughs> Let's go jump! Don't need experience. Experience is highly unlimited. I'm a mutant. I just got done jumping into a mutated gen genetic mutator and see what happened to me? I, I have a skull. I'm a... a but it like opens up darkness around her and she disappears. But she'll be a dark shape. A cloud kind of. But as a cloud, what's your rank? Remarkable? As a what? Well, I was checking her rank. On what? For her uh, new power. Her, uh, the cloaking? Cloak. Yeah. The cloak Amazing. Amazing. So she could hide you guys. If necessary, you could all hide. I her. don't need to be hidden. No, you're a caveman. Here's I don't your... think I need to be hidden either. You notice it's got, they're kind of worried about this. Okay, they want to talk to you before you get off the oh, show. Yeah, what, what were you going to say, Bill? Oh, just, you're a caveman. They, they have been asking you questions on this one. You went in for your... Right here. Your mutation. They mutated you. You came out. 
you decided on a different name. Are you all right? We want to make sure you didn't like change who you are identity wise. I'm good. Okay, just being sure. You didn't suddenly decide. Well, I want to be a caveman now. <laughs> They're scared. Okay. Everyone roll percentage dice on agility. So. Uh, 83. No. You're good. Those two. Good. Well, successful. Your agility is typical. Thirty-five. Excellent. You needed a fifty-one. I rolled ninety-four. You made it. Oh, yay! So now you failed. I Many did. of you fell off the plane. Um. I fell. She tripped down the the, the gangplank. I got thirty. You oh, failed. <laughs> like in the ad for no, next. No, and who's gonna so point out the door and say you shouldn't have gone first? And laughing at you in your shield uniform. I made red. I saw this in a commercial. I made red <laughs> all over the place when she uh, fell down. You fall down and go boom. <laughs> Fall down and go what did you say? Can I reduce the gravity on the falling girl? Yeah. Make a percentage dice roll. 94. Okay, no problem. So you don't fall, you're floating. You can get back to your feet, you're alright. You just kind of look silly there for a while. <laughs> you did actually know. No, you I fell. <laughs> you were caught by the gravity and we're allowed to have time to get up again. It's now getting off, like getting off bed. <laughs> but the bed was invisible. Here's the left. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Angel. One of the shield guys yells, You shouldn't have gone first. Okay. <laughs> now, the way we're going to go through, we have a bunch of encounters. Basically, I'm going to, first of all, I should do this. Um, I just based this on last uh, uh, I roll for encounters one time. What? Watching. We're going to disappear for a second, though. since you're not paying attention to me telling you to come over here. Uh, well, don't look at the screen. There's no reality around us. Here. 359 minutes. We're all right, I guess. Okay, I guess I'm... Pause. Yeah, I didn't need you later. I didn't even see you. I know. You were looking at the TV screen. the influence of my son. <laughs> I am known to be quite chaotic. I was going to say evil, but that's too, 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 too much work. A, no, a definite term. I'm a 
first get there what do you do you successfully got off the ship it closes the door recloaks and takes off um, there are vehicle there are, is equipment to contact us in the vehicles I call dibs on the Jeep they're over at the uh, storage center they gave you the keys for them I go running off <laughs> I'm going to do that, too. I'm going to go grab the truck. <laughs> okay, you get there. We'll assume they gave you the keys for what you were asking for before you left. So, um, both of you guys roll a die 10. This one. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. So... The first door you try, you is is it doesn't work. And the one you're at doesn't work. The keys don't work. Oh god, this is a setup. Hand me your keys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Instead of walking over, you guys just trade keys. <laughs> yeah, we, we toss them to each other. Okay. It opens. Except for you're standing in front of the truck and you're standing in front of the Jeep. Oh, oh the switching <laughs> ankles! <laughs> Here, take the key. Give me my key bag. <laughs> and the weapons can be put away. Okay. The weapons can be closed. The Jeep can take three. But the one is sitting rough butt. Oh, hey, it says you do right up here. That's cool. Yeah. Down, I found the chart for him. I have some people like GI Joe because I've actually got GI Joe: The Rise of Cobra. I used to have the entire first two years of the comic book, and a friend, I thought, borrowed them, and then moved to Alaska. There's actually a couple of my favorite actors in there. I like the new series all right. I like some of the concepts. There's just been never, it's, they've been near hits. So Morgan, are, are you with me in the Jeep? Okay, he's nodding. Yeah, you guys don't always hear me when I talk. So, uh, the rest of you are in the, of course, the other will carry four people. He actually can carry six. It's like a Hummer. I mean, I'm pretty Cool. Claim to be the Avengers? <laughs> the new Avengers? Yeah, that was the joke. Hey, do whatever you want. There's no one to argue it. They were outlawed years ago. We, we hey, there's a, looks, one. Hey, there's a shovel on the truck. Because we're going to be a derivative. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Um, ah! expect I think uh, oh. Bill wants back in. You know, too fast. <laughs> Come on, leg work. Drag your butt over there. I think those are yeah, missiles. Yeah, there's weapons in the back. They can be pulled in and closed, though. Quit playing with your missiles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admiring the drive. So. You fire with anything you touch. Oh, what did we say? Did you choose a name? You did. We've said it many times now. Again, Walker. Skimwalker, did you write it down? Yep. Okay. Skin. Skimwalker and Luna will be traveling with Trixie. Trixie will be dying driving the Hummer. Oh god. <laughs> <coughs> and the other two being Maximus and Catastrophe now. Used to be NG if you're looking at the pictures, people viewing. Um I will be in the Jeep. But if you think about it. There's also be an issue of if you guys wanted to how okay the jeep with the weapon put away will kind of pass in public you see them every once in a while out here people driving them around 
They'll stand out though. The military grade Hummer though is more like going to make a statement when it's parked anywhere. And it does look like a military vehicle and both of them are painted whatever color you wanted. Well I'm putting the I'm putting the uh, weapon away. Okay, you hit the little button and it closes, it sucks in and closes behind it. Yep. How much does the vehicle weigh? Just, you know, just ask it. It's on there. 2.8 tons. Too much. Queenie! Hey, baby! Get back Our kitty mascot. 2.8 tons is 4.8 pounds. Like a thousand pounds. What? Yeah, you'll be able to. Yeah, it gives you something to practice with, right? Like the truck weighs even more. I like throwing things at people. Like people at people. Like greedy, greedy. <laughs> people <laughs> online, they're, they're looking at our cat. <laughs> they're not just talking to their feet. What time we got? 8.31. We started at 7, yep. 7.30 almost, <laughs> called 7.30, 8.31, so we've had an hour. Now, you were talking earlier, Hi. and this is going to be a chance now for it, or later. Did you guys want your breaks now, before we start? You were a what? It's a joke. I was an accountant. Okay. No, you were an analyst. How's that? That's even better joke. What's his kitty's name? Well, ask him. What's your cat's name? Princess Puss Boots. My mom named her, but I just call her Puss Boots. That's cute. Yes? You've killed her. <laughs> Everything has to have titles. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <didn't. laughs> your, your, your mother lady, Rowellen? Hey, hey, hey. You know that she's one of the lady sisters. Roho. You know that's a professional name. She doesn't go by that anymore. Hey, your mother could be watching. No, she couldn't. She's too busy. So did that dude. I need to get up to go get uh, a couple water bottles. You can do that. I can hear your muffled laughter over YouTube. We will take a quick right. break, everyone, as we're going to get our drinks and everything set up and go, and then we're going to start up right away with Maximus's first encounter in town. Where are you yeah. going? Why don't you get in town? What are you doing? Where are you? Where would you guys first go once you got vehicles? I'll go get some food. I, don't so I guess those three are going to get food. Yeah, they're going to go get food. I have no choice, no matter, I guess. <laughs> Your food truck is going. Caveman, okay, let's go talk to the granny. Okay. Yeah, let's go do that. Talk to who? The, uh... Yeah. Oh! Good answer. You could gain karma by making connection with people. It's not just dangerous. Remarkable. These are many leggings. We must go anywhere looking like what we look like. One must stay. Well, most of you. What what difference? Do you have anything different about your look that stands out, Morgan? My skin looks like the night sky. Um. Ah. Then you're probably going to have to wear a hoodie and hide your hands. Do the whole raven Does thing. Want a water bottle? I'll take a water bottle. Uh, I was just going to unabashedly give you, and when people have an issue with it, I'll wait and help by their decisions. Which decisions? To protect 
persecute me. Remember, they don't know the gravity of the situation they're in. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh. He's got puns. I can help with both of them. I'm going to help. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm admiring the truck. Huh? I'm admiring the truck. Okay. I actually found the images for the truck on the, uh, um, oh God, site, Pin Pinterest. Oh, nice. Under G.I. Joe Vehicles. Ooh. And then I just compared them to similar Marvel's vehicles in other comics and stories, and I gave it the stats based upon that. Basically, if you have the stats for a Hummer, you have the stats for that vehicle. <laughs> and a Jeep for hers. And I just gave them a plus one column shift on control because they're actually made a little better. <laughs> Is it trying to get away? <laughs> I do not know that number. That number? Any number? What number? It's a number from Washington State, which I don't know. Ooh, Washington State's got some bad people. I know I'm here. Because it usually tells me who's calling me. Oh yeah, I need to I need to get my new number, I think. You had already given it to me. Why is this number calling me again? Huh? Huh? Oh, this weird number of... This weird number is calling me. Weirdos. I have no Tell idea. Tell me to stop it. Oh, All right. my phone's at 16 percent Hey. What? Did you put them in your microwave? Do you have... No, they're in the oven. Okay. That's the number you have? Yeah. I'm going to eat my last one. Mike is calling you. Oh, it's Mike calling me? Did you have a phone or something? I told you there's people you can't trust in this state. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to step away real quick. Okay. Hello. <coughs> Hi. I just, I couldn't recognize the number. That's why I didn't answer. Did he, uh, did he call after responding to first thing? Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, hello. He's at someone else's house or something. I gotta do some here when I talk. Alrighty. Okay. <coughs> Jeez. I'm just gonna put this cover okay. back. We'll be ready to fly through a bunch of these, hopefully. We're basically got a week's worth of encounters. They're going to summarize the period before the rally starts. What kind of charger do you get? He's got his back from his winter escape. I can charge your phone up after this. That's my charges. No, I was just kind of finding it entertaining watching you walk in in your mushroom-like coat, well, uh, just all puffy I like the really, you know the Bridgestone really tire man. Really no, Sally. You like hiding it in case problems? It's kind of hiding your coat, close it around you. Turn it over. That was when I was a child. Now <laughs> I use an emotionless piece. Alrighty. Did you see the Cloak and Dagger series? Uh, I watched, I like started episode one. Okay. And then. Uh, is, that, is, that, is, your, is, that, is your coat like your like his? There's enough Bye. space for you to hide in it from reality. Let me too. Bye. Bye. Okay. 
Bill, you coming? I was waiting for the city. Come on back. Yep. Ah. What, did he get any numbers? Huh? Did he get any numbers? Uh, no, he's, he was using the on uh, phone. So he's, he said if I wanted to, to add the okay. on's number to my phone. Let me get him out of the way here. But he was asking here? me about his game tomorrow. Mike. If he wanted Still him and his buddy to pick me up. Completely 100%. Say one what, coffee? I am good. Okay. I had two cups already. Before I start this Devin, thing rolling. I don't drink coffee. What was that? So. You can't have coffee. You're not really here. He's an illusion. No, he was trying to ask you a question. Okay. Shift X? Not that it really applies to you. Just dreaming. Shift X is equal to 250 tons. That's a lot of weight. Somebody's got gained some extra weight lately. Shift Z is a thousand tons. And everything above that's known as unlimited. Let's get to the fighting! You get to the fight. fighting? You want to fight? Well, we're going to do this in a simple way. Let's get a homage to a series of events that fit into filling in the period. I have 12 encounters. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's first of all do this. Max, roll initiative. Die 20 plus. What's your agility now? Remarkable. Plus mm -hmm. three. Can you write that down if you want? Remarkable plus three. Yep. Nice. So 23. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll go with um, Catastrophe. Did you already have the same initiative? Oh, really? Yeah, rolled out. Well, what was yours? And what's your uh, agility? My agility is remarkable. Yep, plus three. Rod. Roll die 20, plus that, plus 3. Oh, 18 plus 3 is 22. <laughs> These guys showing off their speeds. Now, just for you, those of you that are, like, uh, enhanced, if you guys get injured, you if you get low enough karma, you can become um, berserk. We'll just keep that in mind. Um, Luna, roll a die 20 plus what's her initiative or agility? Her agility is typical. Yes. So just roll a die 20. Nine. And, um, oh God, I'm going to kill him. Mean, the white? No, Skinwalker. Yeah. And actually it's the name I had for you before. Um, you actually came up with a name or told me a name, you know, anything, so it's like, now I can't remember for some reason. Because it is his name, right? Bad with names. Roll it. What's, what's your agility? My agility is a number five. Typical. Typical, so just roll die 20. I did, 15. Okay. And then Trixie, which is still Trixie? I had Wolf Girl. Oh, that's that's right, Wolf Girl. Good name. Hey, Wipey. Roll die 20. Right. And what's your, what's your agility? My agility is excellent. So you have plus two. One. So that's a one. A one's a one's a one. No matter what. You just, like, aren't paying attention. Everyone's attacked, and you're like, guys, could fall down. <laughs> we all just fall down. Fall down and go boom. Okay. <laughs> These encounters coming up, the way I do them is this. Max, we'll roll, or you will, like in this case, it's your encounter. So you're there. Everyone else will roll a die 10, and that will determine how far away they are from you. It will start as you, but they can She's get involved. Um, depending on how close you're I'll let you roll, and if your numbers are not close to each other, he may be two areas away. One. One die 10. Three. So my question, should they be grouped together since they were grouped together? 
Well, they might be, but it depends on the drivers where they are from you guys. They may be nearby. They may be outside at this point. True. You guys are talking about food, and they're going for food. They may already be there. Okay, three for you. And what'd you get, um, Morgan? No, I uh, die 10. Oh, uh, I die 10. Shit. Shit, it's not a number. 10. 10. So. Yeah, you guys are talking about the initiatives now. Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, and you a three, what'd you roll? I got a five. Got an eight. 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 That's right, five. But they're like, it take a while to get out of the car. They're, not, they're like, apparently not paying attention. <laughs> so we'll call your car a five, so you'll be two rounds away from her. Okay. And the rest of you will take four rounds to get near her. No, t two rounds. So, after you guys get there, you still have two more rounds to get out of the car and go get involved. You guys are sleeping in the vehicles. You're taking care of that very important soldierly thing. Sleep when you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sleep is for wussies! <laughs> That's why you're not... And he's in a Jeep, though. You don't get to sleep in a Jeep much. Unless you're really, really tired. Okay, Max. And this, like I said, to let you know, um, initiatives are, you'll have your stuff. Two rounds later, she can get involved, and he can get involved. These two have to wait two more rounds to get involved. I can wait. Well, it could be really simple or complicated or whatnot. It yeah. could be sometimes 10, 20, 30 minutes before, and everyone can get together. This character, this character could wait, but not the other one. Yeah. Well, good thing you're playing this one right now. Okay. Maximus. Stop. You go over to the tavern, where the uh, the tavern slash deli, where the lady, um, worked. Trisha, I think. She runs the. Uh, she's the waitress at the bar there. Actually, helps run the place with the owner. Um. So you guys come pulling in your vehicles, and she's about two rounds away. So about you know, twenty minutes maybe, oh, or ten minutes, something like that. Um, you as soon as you get there, a guy is hanging out in front of the deli with one of those big double-sided signs on there. This is register for Mac. And the guy has three eyes. He's like, registration is our greatest chance. We need to be taken to the promised land where us mutants can all live together instead of to live with these filthy humans. And where's... And they don't want us here anyways. They want to kill us. And where's said promised land? Well, if they were to inform everyone where it is, people would tried to attack it and kill us there. It's best for our safety that they don't inform us where it is. So like I say it's a trap. No way! No! He's a heathen! And he gets like onto a religious rant like you have like a horrible... Dude! <laughs> Shut it! Who runs Mac? Mac? It's an organization that helps that's trying to get people to register as mutants, it's run by mutants, and then they're going to be taken out of the city and taken to a place in an, a secret land. There's actually a train built that they rides off into the sunset with the mutants and takes them someplace safe. It goes underground and uh, hides, so they, 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 permanent, they purposely hide the location from the mutant-hating groups for their own safety. And that's basically, the, everyone's right now talking, that's one of the things they want you to check on, actually, this whole Mac thing. Um, Senator McGrafton actually supports the concept, because he says they should be thrown out anyways. So if they just register and sent safely to where they need to go, he has no problem. If they want to go, leave them alone, don't kill them. But if they stay, we're going to kill you. But that's also stuff we talked about before. This guy is just on some religious rant, like Mac is he, and he's Noah, and Mac is 
his boat. And everyone should join in and go there and sign up. Is there a way? Out of game. Hmm? Out of game. Okay. Is there a way? If I was to go along with this little fucking Mac thing, the show would come back ready? and get me back. Yeah. You can sit here and listen. He's talking to everyone here. He's blocking off the damn tavern. Kind of annoying Trisha a little bit. I'm just going to pick him up and move him away. What's your psych? My psych is good. Okay. Rope change says. Can I help make him lighter? That's not a problem. He can lift him easy. I didn't say touching him was a good idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's 91. Okay. You're all right, but you felt a weird, like, you got angry when you picked him up. Oh, shit. Magic negates <laughs> mutation while in contact. No, you don't feel weaker. This is a problem. It's not bad. That. It's like... So make way you're way starting you to feel, open. when you picked him up, that... Maybe we should just register and leave. <sighs> but is there any way that S.H.I.E.L.D. can get us out of there if we decide to go? They can set a place to meet you, yes. To get out. You can call us from the vehicles. And we can set up a pickup. But if we bring you back, we're probably not going to let you go back. Grandpa, when she starts running. Oh, I forgot. I was going to let one person go with you guys. Because you guys are kind of alone. Healer went with you. So if you guys get back to the truck with whatever happens to you, she can probably heal you as long as you're not dead. Can we ask Healer to check on our new friend Luna due to her new back surgery right away? Make sure things are all right. Uh, when I was talking about people that may go berserk or act weird if too, too low in points, she's one of them. If she gets too low in points, she could go into, like, pain seizures. Or she could By the way, in. this Mac thing, Holocaust! <laughs> Holocaust? <laughs> Mac? Mac? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a train waiting for everybody? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard of Hitler? I didn't write this up. <laughs> yes, the guy who made a Nazi connection? Well, the difference was they were trying to eliminate. And before we get to that point, Max is just trying to get us out of here. Kind of like the church got the Nazis out of Germany after World War II. And at this point, the truck pulls up. And um, catastrophe comes out of the uh, bathroom. Like I said, uh, Hitler. I push the guy aside as they walk out. Huh? <laughs> walk by the guy on the way out. What's, what took you guys so long? Jeez. You walk by the guy. Went by to push the door open. It was in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, no, the bathroom's outside the building. There's a separate bathroom. So you have to get out and you walk around into the front door. And everyone's out there talking. So why aren't we inside? Well, she picked him up. We don't know what he's doing. Okay. Um, are you still holding him? Yeah. Okay. And you feel like maybe you should go register. But it's like really faint. You feel like it's just because of something he's saying, and and it's his fault. You think he may be a well? He's got three eyes. You know, he's three gonna, eyes, huh? Just figured out one yep. of his abilities. Good job. Um, Do you want to keep holding him, or you want to put him down? I'm just gonna drop him. Okay, you don't have to make another roll then. You just drop him and walk on by. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we have business inside and walk in. Now, anyone else 
want to go talk to this guy who names himself Trinity. Hey, Trixie, go talk to Trinity. You guys might make a great... She's like, no, I am Wolf Girl. I'm Wolf Girl, yes. In the middle of the street, I'm Wolf Girl. <laughs> I, just, I just look around at all of you. This is perfect. Um, I, I should also be wearing a veil or get some gloves or something. Well, Trisha's got a, an issue. No, it's because I talked to her. Um, is this guy going to bring Sentinel Services down on us out there talking? Most likely, if we don't, like, you know, tell him to get the fuck out of here. Well, can you do that? Yeah, yeah, I can fucking do that. I believe I could do it multiple ways. She <laughs> so yeah, turn around and go back outside. Oh, yeah. Um, she's like, she just doesn't want to, like, push around some holy man. And you're like, he's not a holy man, he's Hitler! He's no, Hitler. He just has three eyes. Wait, what, Hitler? He's a three eyes. You do Hitler. see on the walls inside this place are some posters for Mac. Wait, like he's some separatist? No, Mac is the, uh, let me look this up. This one? Possibly. Uh, we may wait on this one, but we got others. Should we, should, should we be making that a priority plan, or should we be like... Read a list. Up? A list of people we're killing? No. I see. Nothing solid, nothing recorded. I am literally looking down at my nose at you. <laughs> well, actually, let's do this. I say. If uh, you guys want to know more about Mac, you probably have to go talk to him. So there. It's probably the page on the like the one page sticking here. We got guns. We can do that. A, a song to, pro to project lasers? Sounds like a powerful song. Which is a very powerful song. Okay, now, so you go out, you two. Go out there. You guys go inside, get something to eat. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sounds good. <coughs> I'm gonna ask him why he's harassing this nice lady's establishment with his. Uh, I'm just trying to help people find the way to a better land. Okay, tell you what, if we sign up for this whole mumbo jumbo bullshit, will you leave? Thank you. Post haste. Well, like before we sign paperwork. Um. Well, if you just want to, there's there's at the Columbia Center. There's a a, a location for you to sign up. So you, Oh yeah, there's a huge facility where they're keeping people. Concentration camp. Keeping people. It's a concentration camp. Itself is making me a little uneasy. Uh, I, it's kind of living in a group home, as far as they're they're given a place at night to go, Holocaust. so that they're safe from. Um, you know, kind of like the Japanese internment camps they had for a while. Well, you seem to have made it all right. Um, through leaving there. Well, one reason I'm sitting here and doing this is because, you know, I, I really don't have another place to stay right now. Are you so. sure Canada takes people? They, they well, it's illegal to try to run across the border. <laughs> I believe there's a beautiful underground railroad slash uh, scenario. Yes, there is one action. It's an actual railroad you guys can take. Um, but I have already signed it for Mac, and um, I was just, I, I have a place to stay, you know, as far as like there now, and that's, they gave me a place to stay. 
Um, Can I so, treat you right? Do so they have... Well, I used to stay at the old Hanford military base. But the Army's been moving back onto the base. McGrafton, uh, um, Bennett, General Bennett's back there, man. He chased us all out. And uh, I went and signed up, and they gave me a place to stay. And a few, you know, after the rally, they're going to start getting us out of here. Do they have giant ovens that they put people in if they mess up? No, that's crazy. You're talking about the Holocaust. That's... <laughs> Maximus, just but crunch him. If you guys will go ahead and, and sign up, and then um, I'll, I'll meet you guys there, and uh, we'll have a great time. At night, they show movies. Put it this way. If you are completely wrong, and it is this freaking holocaust all over again, but for mutants, I am going to smash your brains in. Okay. But I'm sure you'll be thanking me for this. Maximus? Yes. Okay, man. Um, just to be very, very super clear on this, the world is already in that most definite scenario. So, just... <laughs> just the difference is negligible. Okay. Just crazy. Max, you got through that encounter. Take 100 points, and then you, since you helped, take 50. Yay. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, die 10 rolls for everyone. We're on to the next encounter. All right. 10. Let's see where everyone is. Six. Eight. Four. Nine. Excuse me. Four, nine, what? Uh, eight. She's a driver. You're a driver there. Your phone is charging. <laughs> but it's going to be like right there. We didn't even talk to her about any of the stuff we were going to talk to her about. About who? Shit. Oh, yeah, talk to her. Sorry. We'll finish that encounter. That was the, the encounter part of it, but you wanted to oh, talk to her. Well, your guys' underground base got ripped out of the ground and is left out there laying in the sand. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that we should talk to her about. Well, that's what she's telling you about the place. Um, Sentinel activity has actually almost disappeared within town. That's why um, you seem to be able to walk around right now without being pestered. Uh, they are out in the other parts of the city. Um, we've heard a lot of people coming into town from outside looking for you guys. <coughs> for the mutant underground. Why? Because they're mutants and they're trying to escape. And there was no one here. So there's apparently a couple other cells around the area that have been cleaning up and picking up you know, the, the people lost. Let's go find them. Also something I look at everyone. Go save them! Well, you're uh, saying your underground base is gone. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just affirming that's what we're calling ourselves around her because we have changed. Okay. Names, but that's more private information. Um. Just in case anyone says it. Well, you might be the person, perfect person to check on this one issue, though. Oh, jeez, eh? Especially your darker look. Um. I've heard some stories that there's a group of. Bill's wanting to fight. Bill's wanting to fight. Oh, believe me, that'd be time. Especially kids out there, but some of them are mutants. Some of us are, are the anomalous um, humans. Breeding humans. Also known nowadays as dirty blood humans. So, wait, in humans or are you talking about... No. Like, um, humans, they're basically humans that can give birth to mutant children uh, are still hated as mutants. That's some of the uh, anomalous humans, also known as dirty blood humans. They're dirty bloods. 
because they have mutant blood in them, but they look human. You can't tell them from normal people. Uh, but these kids kind of gotten chased uh, from some of the area, other areas are um, hiding out there by the cemetery. That's good to know. Thank you for this information. Okay. Luna, you should get in our vehicle. Mm -hmm. You're being called, Luna. I Catastrophe? Say it again. Yeah. You, uh, Luna, you should come with us this time. We, we've got a special mission that could uh, use your abilities. Alright. Okay. Yeah, who else is, uh, are you taking him with you? And Max. Okay. You guys are already six areas away. Because you rolled a four. Who's the one? Oh, wait, nine. Who's what are you away? Who's driving the uh, Jeep? Who's taking the Jeep? He's driving it, right? Well, you're the only one that has the keys. Unless you can get the keys up. I'm driving the truck. Vehicle, but I don't know how to drive a vehicle like Yeah. That. So as people live in the city, he can't drive. So <laughs> it's like having somebody that learned how to drive in an automatic start driving a standard. Yeah. yeah. You're limited by, you see the controllability on the Jeep? No matter how high your piloting skill or control driving skill is, you can't get over that. <coughs> because of the driving ability of the vehicle. <coughs> so you guys are actually limited what you can do. Because 105 miles an hour. Yeah. But it's a Jeep. That's off-road, too. And it's armored. Um, so you guys going to go check that out? Okay, so it's your encounter. Roll die 10. I want to get a crescent. Seven. Seven? Yeah. I want to go back. Okay. There'll be plenty of, plenty of opportunities, but you don't deserve that. I want to get into a fight. You know what? Tibbles will turn. Six. Two. Okay. I need this chart I put in here. Hopefully it's still there because otherwise I'm screwed because I put it away. It took me forever to find it. <laughs> oh, I did. Ah. Okay. I need to find pineapples. Pineapples? No. I need to find a power chart to roll off of because there are some skilled mutants in the group. So we have to roll to see what powers they have. Are you me a kinder? A kinder? No, it's a skilled mutant. Thank you. Skilled mutants are ones that actually can be of value in combat <coughs> in case the shit starts to hit the fan. A lot of mutants may have things like double eyelids. You know, they're, they're not going to be helpful in combat. They don't carry guns. They're really in trouble. I really uh, <coughs> an extra limb. What? That's why I didn't take an extra limb. Oh. I didn't want one of those to happen. I get like a third arm. <coughs> yeah, that's an extra limb. Yeah, they look a little funny. You have to wear a coat. You wear that big coat of yours and they never know. Huh? There we go. It was there for a whole time. God damn it. Okay. Roll percentage dice. Morgan. As in catastrophe. Four. On percentage dice? Yes. You suck. Okay. Okay, I'll let you And go up say dice again. Oh, Not again. Twenty? One. <laughs> Just getting worse. On a one. Well that that definitely says that. 
And another change dice? Okay, should I go with the same pair? Nope. They're probably not. They haven't done well so far. <laughs> oh, I have. What? Okay, and again? I have a feeling as soon as I step on the six. I have a feeling as soon as I step out of this Jeep, I'm going to go aggro and start beating up a booty. If you go aggro, you'll try to attack me and I'm going to put you on the ground. That'll be fine! <laughs> Everyone make an intuition check, see if you can locate where the uh, wild one is there. They didn't come and grab you. But you guys are not far away. You're only one area away, actually. Yeah. You guys are kind of keeping an eye on you because of the danger of the situation. 95. Hmm? 95. So, keep those numbers, we'll get to that. What? Um. Once you locate it, see you just find a sign, yes. So, what'd you roll? 29. 29 with what's your intuition? Uh, intuition is uh, excellent. 29, no. What'd you get? Something wrong. 98. Okay. It's a red. Okay, and? What'd you get, 92 or 29? 29. On a what? Typical intuition. No, uh, no. You guys find no one. But you do. These dice are not really nice to me. Because <laughs> you're so she new, came to so. you. She gave you on purpose. She's like, we'll kill this character right off the bat. We'll gain viewers. Whichever one you want to have dominant. I was just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, you see someone walking. Over there, by the tombstones. I get out. Huh? I get out. But you, you no, you're we're, you're looking around the place. You're not in your vehicle anymore. I walk up there. You can't be driving. Right? You start walk walking up, up there. Okay, make an intuition check again. There's the whole reason we brought Luna. Max is not. Our, I think Wild Boy's better than Caveman myself. 90, which is a red. A red. You hear someone uh, from the bushes next to you go, stop. Why? Because it just it kills people. What is it? Your mama. Oh, it's obviously a person. No, shut up. Okay. The guy you look at is like, Goth S, you know, emo type. It's a zombie. Yeah, so. Don't go near it. Shh. Human or mutant? As good as mutant. You! Human or mutant? I'm a mutant. Good That's how come I know it's not human. It's not putting off the right heat. Then what am I? You're a mutant. It modified you. Putting off a lot of heat. I'm gonna go take it down. That's funny. Technically, I'm uh, like my thermal signature is fluctuating constantly. Yeah. I no, what he's not seeing is he's seeing down. not the details. So what he's doing is he's using his UV vision in the dark. So he's picking up heat. He's not actually doing heat vision. I'm gonna go attack the fucking thing. Okay. You walk over towards it. Yep. Okay. We'll say this time you guys are pulling up to the graveyard in your truck. And I'm gonna pull out my claws. What we're we gonna do fighting then? What you fighting? My fighting. Amazing. Okay, roll. <laughs> Do you 
91. Okay. Um, what's your closet or strength? My strength? Incredible. Excuse me. Um, while you're doing that, at this point you realize when you pulled out your claws, they've gotten larger. So they're incredible now. Part of the uh, change. Oh, you over there. Yes. You have claws of excellent. She didn't have claws before. Wait, me? Yeah. Side effect of the uh, Weapon X work. Okay. They come out when they have to. Okay, what do I roll? Can, can they just be talents then? You want, yeah. Like, uh... Okay, you rolled a 20. 19. And what you say, strength incredible? Yes. Claws, excellent. <gasps> Sliced him open. From like the belly up. <laughs> it stumbles backwards. Pulling back in its guts. I'm gonna go for the head! Okay. Oh Decapitation! <laughs> Roll <Rope> same size. <laughs> Incredible. Nine to seven, which is a red. And a 20. Decapitation, decapitation. You cut him again? Um, not as many as you think you should have. And then he punches you for 21 points. Make a percentage test roll. He's gonna give you a fast 62. Okay. As you landed on the ground, so you're getting up. Oh, I didn't get. I should remember these things. Um. Well, I guess we'll find out now. It's part of being mutated. Um. You now have a regeneration. What's your endurance? Incredible. You regenerate four per points per round. What's your endurance? Same as hers. You regenerate four points per round when hurt. So you do start healing, but you noticed after he hits you, your claws retracted. Flip him off, and he turns his glowing red eyes at you. And starts heading your way. I'm gonna attack again. Okay. This time I'm gonna add 30 karma. Okay. You're not gonna even yell for me, bitch. <laughs> He's having all kinds of fun. Twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five is what you rolled to hit. So that's one shift on damage up. So it goes from incredible to amazing. Roll die twenty. I got eighteen. Eighteen. And okay, so your claws didn't come out. I punched him, and it. Didn't seem to hit anywhere near as hard as it should have. And you're starting to get a little worn out. That's when I call for uh, this one over here. Okay. That's when I call for cat. You have a bad problem. This thing may actually be magic. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm getting a truck to leave it. 
I peed on him for a while. Bye. I yelled for everyone. <clears throat> everyone over here, and then headed back to the jeep. <coughs> I'm gonna shoot that bastard from here. <laughs> I could. Wait, I have that nail gun. Is that neither? Oh yes, yes, you do. I'm going to use that. Okay. Then what we're going to start with is combat goes... Because uh, we rolled earlier. Max. <coughs> um, <coughs> catatonic. Catastrophe. <laughs> catastrophe. I'll never get people's names right. Yeah. <laughs> Luna and Get Walker. Walker. Luna. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near that, am I? Right now? What? The encounter they're going against? No, you were around away. You guys okay. just showed up finally. Just oh. Up. Yeah. And then I should Not do... Fine. Them. Don't judge... <laughs> hey, Slowpoke! She has a pilot! <laughs> hey, Slowpoke! There's a plane. I don't, she circled twice before landing. She like, went around the place twice. Oh, I sucked on my mission. Okay! So! Um, next to go is... Cata... For free. <laughs> Catastrophe! Yes. Catatastrophe. <laughs> what do you know? There's some beat up thing walking towards you. I'm going to do what I do best. And I'm going to put 2,000 pounds of pressure on to it. Okay. Do it. Make a roll. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, hold it on the ground. It's laying there on the ground, doing nothing but healing. He's hiding behind a tree, or he is. No, I have my needlers. Oh, you're gonna shoot it. What? Is this something going into Well, right now you're holding it on the ground. Next would be Skinwalker. Skinwalker. I'm gonna see if I can. Tap dance. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulips. See if I can take a swing at it and try and knock it down. Knock him down. I'll make a person. You know how tigers have senses? Yeah. Make an intuition check. Are you in tiger form or human? That now. Uh, halfway. Okay. Huh? Roll. Yes, we should. Make an intuition roll then. Uh. uh Forty. Right, four. Four zero. Four zero. Okay, as you go up to the scene, you see Catastrophe Catatonic. holding down a dead body on the ground. It's, it's dead. It looks it's dead. It smells one. dead. It's dead. It, it, it's a wily one, this one here. Okay. Why are you carrying it, quite, uh, carrying a dead body to the ground? Uh, um, I, I'm pushing it to the ground because it scared uh, our caveman over there. I went behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> he came back. He has a gun. Let's go beat him with it. I just mean, no. if, if I'm not holding him down, should I send him into outdoor? 
Yeah. Well, on your turn, maybe you can yeah. do that. Careful, that will happen. Because as you're holding it there, he showed up. The next to show up is Luna. I dropped the dice. You show up. Okay. So, uh, do you want to do anything when you get there? Do you want to beat up the, uh, the dead body? I'll take the body and throw it. It's real heavy. I don't care. He's put 2,000 pounds on top. Yeah, that's heavy. Uh, it's on me. Just saying. <laughs> what do you do? Well, if we come back to it, we ask, what do you want to do with the body? Bury it. I say outer orbit. Or can you, can you, like... You can't reach outer orbit. With a remarkable, you can't reach outer orbit. Turn into a wolf and bury it. I can drive with, uh... Dig a hole. Yeah, with my What you can do the whole thing is I have range, so I can check this. You have a remarkable? Your range up. Um thirty areas. Well, it wouldn't mean you much, but it, it, it would, it takes some more damage. I'm trying to double check to see if, oh, uh, nope. Okay. Yeah, that, that's about right, the range, pretty close. I don't have an exact for that, but, because I'd have to minus the weight of the uh, zombie. So I'm just going to go approximate. <laughs> okay. Well, crushing it doesn't seem to be doing much, so. It stops it from moving. If you wanted, you could start fire lighting it on fire. But it may move more. Yes, it may. I'm just saying. Nah, you you're just going to eat it. Hold it down, you guys uh, I don't Ew. think I eat zombies. Dismember. Yeah, wolf. Wolves will eat just about anything. I could dismember it. Well, and guys, you going to do something with that? Says a bunch of kids from the uh, cemetery. I heard if you stake them, they die. Well, no, that's an idea. Anyone have a stake on them, or are we going to go and make one? I can make one. The sarcasm is <laughs> so very clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a stake. Luna didn't catch it. She's going to go make a, sta a stake. <laughs> I'm just going to fire on the fucking thing. You start shooting with your needler? Yes. Roll. As long as you don't roll a zero to a zero five, you'll hit because it's not moving. Anyone How about eighty one? Roll that twenty. Steak. <laughs> Steak is good. I like mine bloody. What'd you roll? Eleven. Okay, you shot it. And I'll, I'll, I'll it's take still up. Well, it 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 starts healing as soon as you. Yeah, it's down, but it's apparently heals. It's it's the damage you've done, the claw damage is almost healed. You should uh, start dismembering it with your claws. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then call Wolf Girl over, she'll bury it. How are you going to do it? <laughs> Rip his arms off first. Well, as you start pulling on his arms, it doesn't seem you have enough strength to do something like that. Dismember, you have claws, cut it off. Forget it! Her claws won't come out against it. Bring me... Actually, I'm going to go find a tree branch with a sharp end on it. <laughs> she's going to make a stake. <laughs> she's back. That's she's over with you helping make a stake. No, I, no. I'm just going to find a big old freaking... Boggin. Okay. <coughs> uh, on my turn, I'm going to try and crush it into a small um, shape. Roll die 20. Twenty. You rolled a twenty. Yes. Okay. 
Um, you did some damage. Just keep doing this. Yes. After a while, it looks like you got it pretty bad. I'm going to turn it into a ball. A very small ball. Well, you have gravity control. You can't shake things. You start scooping it up. Huh? Huh? No, gravity increases or decreases. It doesn't go left or right. <laughs> you have to have a trajectory for that. What an asshole bringing that up. Okay, you guys are just, she, he's busy crushing stuff, and you're watching about seven kids watching you guys. From the bushes. Have I found the damn stick yet? Mm -hmm. Yep, start pounding a log through its chest so you can stick it to the ground? Yes! <coughs> okay. <coughs> you start doing that and it starts saying something to you in Latin. And something about sleeping with your mother in hell. I mean, you're straight straightening up thinking this thing's like a some kind of like undead from the evil dead. I think it's harassing you. Yeah, it's calling you names. But you also have to stay ten feet away, or you can't. Your powers go away if you get within a foot. I need you to do me a favor. Okay. <laughs> go get me some gas. Did you want to do something? You guys have gas on your vehicles. I have a Zippo lighter. Okay. Well, he has fire powers. Hi. Okay. Oh. Are you going to talk about getting salt in here? Do we have to go look for his bones? No, we're going to. We're just going to light it with fire with gasoline. Okay. Going to gas him. Okay. What are you doing yeah. during this time? Skinwalker. I'm stepping back and waiting and watching. Okay. See if there's any other trouble coming on. Wait, no. Because if she lets go... She can do two powers at the same time. Okay. If she makes the roll. If she misses the roll, it takes a control roll. You need to make a green level for two attacks the same round. Nice. Let's do this. Yeah. Do it. You'd have to, if you had an Omni power or a yeah. Unit yeah. power, you could only do one at a time. You can bury it after we burn the book out of it. Okay. So you guys decide to try to burn it and destroy it? What do you guys do about the, the kids? They're watching. Um, yeah. I guess, I guess so. They start throwing things at them. Would you stop? Oh, oh. Can I go get that? It's my hand. He threw it. Why did you throw, why do you throw your hand? Because he does that sometimes. Why does your hand come off? Why do you look like Bigfoot? Oh. Oh. I assume you're a mutant like I am. Can I go get my hand? No. Okay, hand, come here. So it starts. I step on it. Ow! <laughs> get out of here, kid. I can't. He's got my hand. Let, let him have his hand so he can leave. Bite me, kitty cat. <laughs> Don't want to get into a fight with you. The other guy, one of them looks like, the one you talked to before, he has glowing eyes, it looks like. But it's just from the way the light hits him. It's because that ultraviolet vision thing he has. I will let go of your hand if you take that freaking insult back. Which one? Bigfoot. What's wrong with that? Oh my God, that's a beautiful thing. They're so okay, big. sure. I didn't mean you were Bigfoot. Or Sasquatch. Or Sasquatch is worse! Why, oh, oh, this kid's just... Did you hear me? Old people get grab your hand and just run. I can't. It's over there. Try to get my foot off of it, cat. Oh. <laughs> I won't stand. 
came back on this. <laughs> I'm saying that too. <laughs> They're all acting like nothing's going on. His hand's trying to struggle its way out. I take his hand and throw it. Okay. He puts it back on and he leaves. Yeah, I'm all leave? No. Okay. You guys should have put them in the back of the vehicle. Well, there's not that much room. There's Give seven of them. No. Where are you th kids from? Um, well, where we did live was uh, outside of town, out in some of the old farmhouses. But Sentinels have been moving in, doing stuff and trash and things, or Sentinel Services, and we kind of moved into town. Where in town? Um, they'll point it out to you and they'll show you. Let's take care of this thing. This thing? I think it's gone. One of the one kid says, "Should there be a wizard here, somebody?" I mean, that's what it was in D and D. So we couldn't do a necromancy spell unless there was a wizard. They just didn't happen on their own. You know, you're not wrong, kid. But that always isn't someone. It could be multiple people. Well, so you think there's a coven out here? Yeah, it could be you. It could be Mr. <laughs> I think I'm hot chic because I could throw my body parts at people. Told you, Charlie threw it. After a while, I believe your weakness, to, you know, breaks off after contact. So, after about an hour, you'll be fine. In fact, your regeneration, but you weren't hurt, so you, could, you don't even know if it's hurt. I was too hurt. Well, your regeneration quit working when he was around. You have to move out of range. I am out of range. Okay. It slowly starts healing back. Okay, can I set it on fire? And my claw go like this. Oh, you should roll something. Roll an intuition check. What's your intuition? You. You got hurt by a zombie. Monstrous. Roll. Sixty-five. Okay. There is a couple little small cuts on you. And you can smell its hand all over you. <laughs> Y'all are fucked. <laughs> if I turn zombie, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. I doubt it. I'm just going to set everything on fire within the next six hours. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> I got Are we sure he's not related to me? I got a cannon. Or she's gun. related can, to me? I can blow you up. <laughs> I, I, will, I will try to go supernova. Everything will be on fire. <laughs> So he's doing worse than I'd ever do. Hey, what are you guys doing? Where you, guys, go you guys keep at the body? I would like to set it on fire. Is it burnt? Yeah, it's burnt. Show us where you show us where you guys live now. I can show you on a map, but it's dangerous there. I mean, they chased us out at gunpoint. So wait, who set it on fire? Where are you guys staying now? Uh, someone else grabbed a Zippo lighter from the Jeep, unless you wanted to light it before they had a chance. I was asking. Okay. Okay, well, he does it. You look playing with the Zippo. Um, I, I can show you. You got a map? Where do you guys live at now? Now? Here. Come with us. Okay. Do you, like, pile them all over the vehicle, or...? Squeeze them all in there. There's enough square footage for enough people. They have to like lay on top of each other and stuff. You guys got to all fit in the front seat. Oh, that's fun. Just remember, I have not the three in the jeep. <laughs> yeah, who's the three in the jeep? You three are in a jeep. Okay, so it's you and you, and I guess you got everyone else shoved in the back seat, laying over everything and everyone. The square. 
Now I'm going <coughs> to contact Shield zombies. to pick them up <laughs> and tell them about the zombies I just got clawed. I found a zombie? You and you got clawed? Like Are you changing? <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> You're not showing any zombie signs, are you? If you fought a zombie. Wait, are we, are we doing the zombie universe next year? <laughs> Was it contagious? No! Well, you should be fine. I got clawed by the cat! No, but if you got damaged the by Guido. a zombie, if you're contagious, you can get one. You can become one. So Especially if you got no Guido? defense versus magic. A wear cat. A wear cat bear. A wear cat bear? <laughs> but it's saber tooth, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did anyone else get that? Reference? Yes, cat dog. Well, Marf. You want to get him just taken out of here? Take him up to Canada. Okay. I'll do it because it'll give you guys some bonus points because you actually got them out of it. You can use them as contacts in case something later happens, but then they're still in danger. Well, you guys got rid of them. They have two skilled mutants. The rest can be found a place to live. Canada's getting bigger and bigger every day. Yeah. Yeah, they said they're on the back of uh, immigrants but already. But not continue. We'll give 100 points to the person whose counter it was. Thank you. And 50 points to you. We'll make it 100 doubly because you saved them. And you others get 25 apiece because you're there to experience it. No, you got 100. Oh, okay. I was talking to the others. Now, when I do the bonus points like that, that's just based upon what it was worth. If you guys got points from fights and stuff like that, you can get more. So you fought the zombie. So you get 20 points. Anyone that fought the zombie, you fought the zombie. You get 20 points. 20 more points? Yeah. I didn't fight. I got Anyone else fight zombies? Nope. You get 20 points. You, oh, sorry. I got knocked with a stick. <laughs> yes. And then she went and got, then he went and got a bigger stick. <laughs> Ruined what you were doing. <laughs> Big tree branch! <laughs> Sharpened a log. Shoved it through his chest. <laughs> Ow. Okay. At least it wasn't, at least it wasn't a barrel. Now we have next encounter. Which happens to be, which I didn't think it was, but it is, it's Trish, or Trixie, who is now Wolf Girl. Wolf girl. Yeah. Did you just meow? <laughs> That's the wrong sound for a wolf. Everyone roll a die 10. I saw no. you just meowed. Everyone roll a die 10. Nine. I got a four. I got a three. Oh. What'd you two get? One and catastrophe. Two. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. So you got a one because you're in his vehicle, and that makes you with him. So, but the other vehicle you're driving, so that's a four. Um, that puts you guys three areas away, or three turns. So if start, shit starts again, it's three turns. Okay, this special encounter, like I said, these are all a montage of the week before the rally, or at least when they announce what's going on with it. Kind of waiting to find out with that. Plus, at any time, you guys can decide if you want to investigate Mac. <laughs> Holocaust. Yes. You don't like him. Cap. You don't like him. Apparently, at the mall. Uh, uh, fuck, we gotta go there anyways. Okay, that was weird. <coughs> Your phone rang. Oh. Your old phone. It's in the glove box. <laughs> I answer it. Okay. 
It's your old boss from the airport. So, you're not going to ignore me anymore? What do you need? Well, first of all, I've been storing your plane for a year. And I want charged, I want you to pay me for that. It's not unusual for planes to be stored for a couple of years. But you do owe me for that. And then, um, but I'm, I'm willing to work with you on that. Because I have some people wanting to hire your services. Because I have no other pilots left. Because everyone in town seems to be wisely either working for the rally project as far as making the building or other things like that. So I, I need someone, and if you can help me out on this, we'll both make a pretty penny. Rally and okay. So um, if you want to know, if you want to do that, come by the uh, office and, you know, meet me and I'll lock your plane for you. You still owe me some afterwards, but we can work something out because basically you still got to buy gas for your plane. Uh, make sure everything's working, clean it up, um, and then later on this evening I'm going to need you to fly around town and see, uh, well, someone wants you to fly over the area where the uh, rally is being built and uh, get some photos on that. And then if you see anything else unusual, go ahead and get shots of that and then let him know. Alrighty. Okay, he's paying five grand. I will take it. Okay. So that would just about pay off the uh, thing, but since I'm also getting paid, if you do this job, man, if you show up and everything goes good and you don't screw it up, I'll, I'll like, clear what we what, what you owe me. Okay. Okay. So, off to your plane. Yep, I'm heading off to the airport. Okay. Uh, make a piloting roll to see how well your All plane's right. condition is. That's You're with her. And so are a bunch of kids. No, we'll, we'll say they're gone by now. My piloting yeah. is we'll remarkable. That'd be nice. Because well, that's also your playing mechanic Ooh, skill. 63. 63. Remarkable 63 makes it. That's a green. It's almost, almost yellow, but not quite. Okay. So, you're it's still in pretty good condition. Ooh. You just have to dust it off, uh, add some fluids, clean out the system, and get things going. So, uh, what are you doing? Are you going to get in a plane? Or are you going to stay in the truck? Uh, I think I'll get in the plane. Just don't touch anything. Oh, what's this button do? If you break my there. plane, you, you will pay for the repairs. I guess you guys are further away than planned. You're on the ground. I'm in the air. I think he's dead. <laughs> you broke it. I think he's dead. I don't think he sees you looking at him. You <laughs> <laughs> looked like you were dead. Just checking you. I, I was focusing. I, I'm okay. For That's good. For okay. Um, <laughs> apparently, they need you to fly over when you went there, and they come and explain the job, and he gives you a clipboard with the flight information when you take off. Um, what you need to do is uh, fly over the area because they need some security shops for some kind of execution that's happening. Execution? The, uh, rally. Execution. You're the only one there. Uh, oh, he's there. He's there. Too. Yeah. Does anyone say anything? They're there with doing what? The execution? Yeah, I thought it was weird too. I, maybe they're talking about something else. But they said there was a public execution going to be held and they needed some security shots. I don't know. I just do what I'm paid to do. Okay. And now you're being paid to do it and so is your co-pilot. You split his half. Should we call the, the rest of the crew and tell them what's going on? Uh, it would be a good thing to update them. Fight. Yes. They're just flying in a plane. Um, <laughs> don't want any part of it. No, but they're going to be in... Uh, nope, can you part of it? Or tell her. <laughs> Go ahead, say it anyway. They're executing somebody. We think it's a mutant. You guys want to uh, be at the fight? Uh, at the... Uh, see if uh, who it is? You might be able to get more information before then. Get more information for me, and then I'll think about it. Okay, oh, well. pilot skill roll. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I need three pilot skill rolls. Alright. What's your pilot skill remarkable? Yep. Roll. 
54. That's good enough. That's uh, blue or green? Seven. Sorry. <laughs> Seven? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. 48. Okay, that's good. Better not screw up one more time. We hope we get a paper. 96. That's good. You flew the line after you yelled at you. Okay. So you got some good shots. The last set you fell really good. Uh, both of you guys make intuition check. Alright. I think she's up on the bed. No, two guys, ten, ten on your intuition. Which is what do you have? My intuition is feeble. Intuition. I got a nine. Okay, you didn't notice anything different. Nine. You're looking ten. at your gauges. Nine. There's nothing Typical. wrong with the gauges. Everything's good. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven? Mm-hmm. That makes screen. You see three bogeys flying off in the distance towards your, you know, this direction. Coming after us? No. Coming to take me away. <laughs> like coming this way. It could be planes. But like three, like leaving definite trails heading this way. They're like off, like towards the horizon. But they're moving pretty quick. They're like getting closer. It'll be like here in like ten minutes. So I tell her. Okay, you tell her. He says there's some planes out there, some bogeys. They're coming after us. Ew, Dashi, <laughs> about this point they split off. There's only one heading in your direction, the other two are heading off in other directions. I do not mean my plane being destroyed again! <laughs> Wild I men smash. The first time. You roll a die 10. Just one? Yep. Mm -hmm. One. Yes. Oh. And at that point, what is flying around suddenly becomes painfully obvious. It flies right at you. It's a giant robot. Oh. Sentinel! Oh, no. And it's starting to fly towards your plane. Mm -hmm. Then you hear your radio break off with, Aircraft, please land safely. For all air vehicles have been closed for this area for the safety of the upcoming event. They're Thank you for your day. Away, huh? Actually sounded quite friendly for a sentinel. And it's standing there like 50 feet from your ship with like one hand pointed at your, sh your plane as you're flying, following you. Now it's more like this. The palm out and the blaster charged. What do you do? Glow, glow, glow. If you're done flying, you can go home. I'm going to... Roll fly pilot check. That would be possible. And me, I'm just going to drive right in there. Like, hey, I'm here. Two ten. Two Yep, you have that. What's your intuition? My intuition is. Or your piloting, sorry. Remarkable? Remarkable. Roll. Okay. Roll. 30. 30? They give you a second warning. I'm going to. Land the damn ship. I'm going to land. You make an intuition check. Okay, roll. And all of a sudden it comes over the radio. They're coming to take me away. Ha <laughs> ha, they're coming to take me away. <laughs> 85. I got a 65. Oh, they fire over your ship. So you're playing missing. 953. Okay. I got 85. 85. You notice where the other two went and watched them. One landed out by Pasquary and the other one headed towards Richland. Landed outside the town. Okay. Pasco one also had a teleplane to land. Crop duster it looked like. And then like ignored it and went and landed. Roll again. Final warning. Ninety-one. Okay, you land safely. Thank without you. Without ruining your plane. No. Nope. Not crash us. And you see them land. And you see the robot take off and fly to the outside of town. So you did see the sentinel robot. Should they please record? Hey, you guys see that? It's a nope. Yes, it is. It's a nope bot. And you saw where they went. You land. He, he says, okay, here, here's the phone. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you see up there? Says a voice that you don't know who it is. He says, I'm the one that employed you right now. What did you see? Sentinels. Sentinels. At the rally space? Yes. One of them stopped me. How many did you see? Just one so far. 
Three. Three? Three of them. It's a full unit. I smash. Okay. Um, I trust you of all people can keep this secret. Mm, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, your pay should be released by your boss. Take okay. 100 karma, and you get 50 for being there. You've seen the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. White. Yes. Black pink. And <laughs> <laughs> black. Uh, hey, that's the color of my nails. Black and pink. White and gold. So, where would you say you commonly would be found? Or anything you wanted to check on? Uh, see where. There's a chance you guys can check stuff that hadn't been already checked. At the bike shop. See what the, uh, who's getting killed, or who's going to be executed. Oh, yes, because you heard that. Lorelai. <coughs> Apparently, and it's not very people even know anything about it yet. It has been announced. But Lorelai's on the uh, execution Lorelei. block. The rock star that was well known anti Sentinel, they got arrested like right before you guys. I thought it was uh, your guys's. Her name wasn't Lorelai. No, you're thinking the one that's with Cannonball? That R blonde one? Or Dazzler? Green hair, you said? No, it's just her name is Lorelai. I, yeah, I thought the same thing. It might have been written before she was created. But her name was Lorelai, and she was a rock star, and she actually has green hair. Or green skin. Are you gonna tell me this? Yes, I'm gonna call you and see what what would be the best thing for us to do. We fight. Okay. Fight, fight, fight. You gotta find out more definition. What's going on? And what's what everything? Gotta get information. See where and how many guards. We know where. Well, and how many guards are gonna be? And how many, if so many cells will be there? Three. Make a percentage dice roll. This is kind of a luck thing. Just roll. <coughs> this one? That's it. The big one? The no. Two, the two. One to a hundred. Are we boring you? Forty-one. No, I'm trying to figure out some shit. Okay. 41. Okay. So you're out. Circle K. Grabbing some breakfast. Coffee and a donut. Coffee, donut. A couple of those uh, microwave egg McMuffin type things. Beans As you're walking burrito. back to the truck, a couple of SUVs come pulling up and screech to a halt. And a bunch of Secret Service guys get out of it. And like pointing guns at you. Bum bum bum. And I said, "What did I do?" I'm you rolled die ten. You rolled die ten. You rolled die. Eight. Yeah. Zero. Seven. Okay. You're about three rounds away. Apparently he hadn't gotten to the car. You weren't in the vehicle either. You're still in the store, and uh, you're like, three turns, three turns away from being like at the store. Maybe you're going to come and pick up the other I think Morgan was trying to talk to you. Yes. No, I'm, I'm just trying to find out how to make this thing work. What thing? Nothing. Just background shit. Um, the, the, am I not with you guys? Or yeah, you are. I see you. Yeah, Mac. Well, the Mac, M-A-C? No! Max? Me! Yeah? What happened? He was with me and she's with me. Yeah. That's true. Um, and you're three rounds away. That's all. That's why I only had you roll the initiative. Because you're in the vehicle. And they're with you. So, you're, you're traveling. Yes. 
We went and got Sonic. Okay. Woohoo! Excuse me. Yeah. What'd you do, Fart? <laughs> They're all pointing guns at you. Uh, you're Bill White. <laughs> that was more of a statement, sir. Okay. We could ask you for ID, but your ID was re with, was withdrawn. <laughs> Senator McGrafton would like to see you. <laughs> Who's that? Well, everyone knows who Senator Grafton is. But he's the guy running the uh, NASI. And uh, he would like to talk to you about a mutual acquaintance of his and yours. I've uh, been out of town for a while, so... It doesn't matter. I'll Just get in the fucking car. Right come now. with us. Grab her. We will bring you back afterwards. Alrighty. Okay. No, you're not coming back. They take you off. You see as he's driving off with some people. He's not coming back. What do you do? Should I inform someone? You could if you want. It's up to you. You, you could. I want to inform Max. Okay. Max, you're informed that the Secret Service just stole um, White. He took his breakfast and his donuts and his coffee and got in their vehicle. Follow him. I'm gonna follow him. Okay, make a roll. I'll Marshall. catch up. It's one dice, right? No, two dice is ten. Okay. Percentage. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. No problem. Okay, while you're in the vehicle, you see Senator McGrafton. Oh, nice to see you. I saw your work a year ago. Uh, yeah, I've been out of town doing some other work. Oddly enough, I, you know, well, you see, it comes out of the, uh, I've got from footage of you uh, helping the police out in this area, um, getting rid of some mutants. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we have you on camera. So, you know, I happen to know that you were with a certain um, other gentleman that we... Uh, that oh, are you okay? To, I used to uh, work with, <laughs> and I haven't seen him for a while. If you're working there, uh, um, NG what one two it? four three. It was, but he's not a gentleman. He's a female. Ladies. You're not there. And a gentleman named NG one two four three. Yep. And, and I'd like to see him again. Get some information from him. See, like, just meet again. See how things are going. And you know, if if you could. Help with that. You know, I, I'm sure I could possibly even help your placement in the Max system to a better home. Well, I'll see if I can find him for you. Well, that's good. So, should we take you and leave you here, or should we just drop you back where you were? Your friend's following us. Uh, might as well just stop me right there, right okay. here. And he lets you off. He's eating one breakfast sandwich. <laughs> I already had breakfast, a part of my breakfast. Yeah. And he gets out of the vehicle and they drive away. So I get out. And, and you see the the vamp behind you. Vamp Mark II. Pull up. I come over and tell her what's going on. Okay. We should better tell, warn uh, Ma Maximus. Or hey, Captain Caveman. You know what? For that... Uh. Call me Wild Man. Wild Man? Okay. Wild man. We'll call Wild Man. Unless you get a magical... If you get... Man, that would be a scary weapon. Think about Captain Caveman's club. Magical club. It's like an Omni gadget. <laughs> <laughs> you you I could, want it. You could hit yourself, though. And knock you out. Your weakness, your own weapon. Then I'd, just, then I'd go berserk. Not if you're unconscious. Only because it's magic. That's how they can calm you. Hit you uh, with your own fucking club. No. Screw that! You bring your own weapon to the battle. It's like vampires coming with stakes. But well, people carry guns, and guns are kind of the same thing. Okay, so you guys are in the vehicle. Yeah. So we call 
Wild man. Wild man. And Should I see how far I am behind them? You're not too far away. Make a percentage that's wrong. Your intuition's monstrous. Uh, hey, don't <laughs> bump your head again. 60. Okay. That's a that's yellow so line. Um, oh, that's the like. <laughs> you see him, but there's another vehicle pulling up to him. Another one pulling up in front of it. Anti-mutant SWAT. They jump out. You guys might want to get the fuck out of here. I'm Are you not seeing this? Cloak, yeah. Well, they've dropped, they've blocked the vehicle. Cloak. Cloak. She's with you guys. Fuck. Cloak, she's like, you disappeared. You know what, screw it, I'm going to go up there. Okay. The guys come out. Well, they're already getting out of their vehicles. Um, and they don't have weapons drawn on your vehicle. And they're like, Mr. Bill White. Yeah. The mayor would like to talk to you about your conversation with Senator McGrafton. He failed his popularity roll. I was checking him out. Oh my god. Uh, Did we even roll on, on that? Hmm? No. No, I roll popularity roll. To see if they if you if your level of popularity had gotten had come out, had been identified. You, you they missed you. Yeah. You still look the same. Yeah, but mine is up to a seven. Yeah. I rolled not one. <laughs> I would have screwed any yet. behind the wheel like, oh, I'm staying out like, of it. I'm not even part of this. I'm not part of it. <laughs> I'm just and, uh, and then a limousine pulls up next to the vehicle and the door opens. It's the mayor. Yeah. Mayor Bennett. So what? Bennett is his last name. Bam. Oh, it reminds me of Enjoy your date. <laughs> What was it that Senator McGrafton was speaking to you about? He wanted me to see if I can get a hold of MG MG One Two Three Four. One Two Three. One Two Four Three. Four Three. One Two Four Three. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, who is that? He is a person who came out of the. Oh, that was that prisoner that was with you guys when you guys uh, helped the police out. Yes. Well, I personally don't fully trust him. I'm still trying to gather some information. And I'm afraid Sentinel Services are going to take over the city. Like you said, I haven't seen that execution. I don't know about that. Trying to figure out what's going on with the execution and uh, execution of Laurel. Of Laurel, that they said there was going to have one coming. I haven't even heard of a ch child date. Today. They said it was going to be today. Actually, we're, we're we're in the week period before, so you guys still have a little time before we even get to when they announce it publicly. You'll have like 24 hours. Okay. But yeah, you have you have the information ahead of time. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose my uh, city to the Sentinel Services people. So, you know, I actually have one of your old paintings hanging up in the uh, mayor's office. Wow. I know it was, but I, I've always lived in the area, so you know I had it. I found it. I so found it. It's mine. Nice. Go away. <laughs> um, too bad you're a mutant, or you would have actually possibly been uh, well known for your art. Yeah. I kind of believe in protecting all my constituents, but you know, I do agree with the mutants if they want to leave. I mean, that's up to them. 
sounds a little internment camp to me, though. Holocaust! So, um, well, thank you for your for cooperation. And he gets out, the door closes, and all the anti-mutant SWAT team get back in the Jeep. Although they didn't seem friendly to you guys. They were kind of like giving you guys a stink eye the whole time. Or anyone that was, uh, you, you've been the only one getting a stink eye. Stink, 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 They're like, stink, oh stink. my god, it's one of those yeah. muties, probably. <laughs> well, it looks like you like this. Well, it's like, what are you doing dating a mutie? Shave <laughs> Okay, um, that leaves 100 points for you. 50 points for you. Next. Next. Thank you, Max. I'm sorry. Now I want to listen to that song. <laughs> Let's see what happens to you guys next, huh? And I'm still finishing my breakfast. <laughs> well, this could be even like the next day. So we have time for you guys even to do heal between. Well, some of you heal easier. I can't even do this. What time is it? 10, 11. Okay. We got at least, we can do a few more encounters. Oh, we'll call it before 11. But that way we actually get a full size game for one time in this game. Instead of a two and a half hour game. You be alright driving home after that? Should we end earlier? She can't, she's drunk. About 10.30. About 10.30? Okay, give me the call. We'll probably just get one more then. Which is alright. Justice break. Ah! Word has gotten out. This player's not here. Nope. But it would have been announced. Apparently, there is a Burning Man like festival being held outside of town in the damaged area of town where the fights used to be. That's where the execution is going to be. No, no, that's over towards, you know where the Kennewick Airport is? They're building a rally station there. Hold uh, 100,000 people. Open air. My phone is at 5% Uh-oh. Are you saying you're done soon? No, I just have to put it under the table. Oh, that's why it ends up under the table. You have a short cord. Ah. Well, what you see is a gigantic sentinel-shaped wicker man. Almost half fade full of trash. And a bunch of people dancing around it. While you're hearing the music of Lorelei playing over the speakers. Apparently someone's heard something. And people are starting, they're fans of Lorelei music, or like protesting. What's going on? Well, we're having a giant wicker man type thing to protest that they're going to execute Lorelei, which is just wrong because she's only spoke of like love and peace. What is the execution? We haven't heard that yet. It's for the rally. Apparently it's going to be like at the high point of the rally, but the rally like goes for four days. This guy you talk to is like kind of drunk too. Mm. We'll um, put you all there, just looking around. So, everyone, do an intuition check. Ninety-eight. Eighty-four. Forty-five. What do you have for intuition? Oh, Roll again. Me? Yeah. Feeble. I 62. got a lot of intuition. So you what? You got 62. What's your intuition? Typical. Typical. I got 42. Yes. And what's your intuition then? Intuition. Typical. So, yeah. You three did not. You two did. Um, yeah, it <laughs> You guys notice, let's just, you guys do notice that in the room, or in the area around the fire, are a few mutants. It happens. <laughs> you're there. It's just you didn't notice. You're just starting to watch the people dancing. The go whole festival, people are making beads. It's kind of like a Wicker Man festival, but a lot smaller. 
I'm going to go up and talk to the uh, mutants. Psych roll. <coughs> 90. Well, since you saw some of them, you could track them, so we can see you could pretty much catch up to them. Um, Remember last Sunday? This yeah. one? Nice. <laughs> Get me. Roll a die 10. 10. Okay. Rope change size. 81. <laughs> and percentage sex. I'm supposed to read my notes. 94. I know I should hide them better, but... Well, in person, it's kind of like my, my uh, sister one time looked at all the presents, and we just act like it didn't happen. She's the only person that got punished by it. Cause she's like, she had to, we went through the whole Christmas faking like, and she faked all the presents. It was okay. hilarious. What'd you get? 91. 91. Okay. And then again. 98. Okay. And. Again. Yep. This is to seeing what their powers are. 96. Okay. Um, meet a guy with a goldfish bowl on his head. It's open on the top. And you keep pouring water in there every once in a while. And you are? I'm a... Bubbles are coming out. One of the other ones goes and says he's a water breather. And you are? Oh, I'm a friend of his. It's just some guy. It's just a normal human guy. He's got kind of a uh, long hair, though. You know, that seems. What's the water, water breather's name? Oh, Neptune. That's what he calls himself. Kind of uh, one of the co-leaders of her group. Group. Yeah. What are you a mutie? Yes, I am. Oh wow. Yeah. No, we're we're you know we're just out here, kind of speaking up against this whole thing. Well, do you guys want to help stop this? Well, I couldn't do much, but I don't know, maybe, maybe Neptune and, uh, Plague could help. He's around here somewhere. Plague? Yeah, he said it's plagues. He controls them, you know, he doesn't do it, you know, but yeah, he can. It's kind of dangerous, but, you know. Okay, well, uh. Well, um, do you have more information? We'll do a psych roll. It's what? Good. Good. 99. Okay. So, um, Okay, I'm going to give you a remarkable contact to cell A. It's mutant cell A. There's two of them actually here. And that's a contact you've gained from talking to these people. Now, um... As you go back out there, you're kind of looking around, you start hearing cars and helicopters coming this way. I suggest everybody leave. Make a cycle. Let's see if you can convince them. 
89. Okay. So I'm start packing. Well, the mutants do. The non mutants or anonymous humans, stuff like that. Some are actually just straight up humans. They just think it's wrong and they like the music. So they're like, no, man. And they start lighting this thing on fire. What do you guys do? Sneak over to the rally and just wait. Or the wall. Okay, so you basically leave the area. Because it's just like, this Actually, no, I gotta the I hills. Gotta, I gotta talk to cell A. Okay, well, they're sneaking off. I'm gonna call. But they leave you a phone number to call them. Well, fine, I'm gonna call. Okay, what do you ask them? Ask them if they want to join in the uh, stopping of the execution. Well, when you find out more information, give us a call and, um, well, Neptune kind of signals that if you're talking to a guy, he's got kind of a grousely voice. This is Plague. Sounds like he's got bronchitis. Sounds like your mom. A little squeaky. But if you have a use for him, he'll try to help. But I might be able to do something. But if my powers don't work on robots. So if they show up, we're going to have to get out of there. So we, but we don't even know. We've heard they've shown up outside of town, but we haven't seen much of them in town. Most of the people that we are in our group are because they've uh, basically were running from them out towards Benton City area. These Sentinel Stars were starting to round up, but apparently everyone in town, because there's a MAC um, location here to sign up, Sentinel Services are not arresting anyone in any mutants within the area. Yeah, because it's Holocaust. Well, we hope not. It is. We're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. We're taking the train out of town. Mm -hmm. we, we're Canadians, so we're like slapping Canadian flags on your truck. <laughs> right, Morgan? True. Like those uh, American I travelers like will do in foreign countries, they'll slap American or Canadian flags on their stuff. Okay. Um, everyone roll a die 10. I didn't mean to hurt you so much with that. Oh no, my arm just popped. The seven attacked you. Um, you're out there, sitting outside in your vehicle, and you would need to make an intuition check. Um, also say, you should tell me a chance, just kind of like do a, if you have to do a stick figure character idea of like what you think your costume should look like. Okay. Like colors or stuff like that, or ideas. Okay. And then I can work with it. Same with everyone. But, um, you heard a wolf. Uh, towards the desert more. Quite a big wolf. Not me. Yeah, she's right there next to you. I'm in the car. But wait, can We're going to give you an intuition check, yeah. We'll give you an intuition check because of what you are. Well, being a wolf person. 92. Okay, after you mention it, she's like, yeah, yeah, I hear it. You guys hear a wolf out there further into the uh, desert, and you guys are parked can off you, the road. Can you understand what it's saying? Mm -hmm. Hundred points for the contact with Sele. Okay, you hear werewolf or wolf? I'm trying to figure out what it's saying. saying. Huh? I'm trying to I'm trying to listen on what it's saying. Um 
Ooh. Roll a roll on your animal transformation wolf. If you change to a wolf, you can see, see it better. Five minutes. Seventy-six. Okay. It's in pain. Can I talk to him? And, can I translate to him in wolf? Or? We have to change back from wolf. All right. But he can understand you. <clears throat> Skinwalker. The wolf's in it sounds like the wolf's in pain. He'll be like the wolf, but he's the one that can interpret the animals. Did it uh, get wounded, or...? Why don't we go out and look? Well, you're not there. I want to say, I'm going to go out and check on it. You see a right running off as a wolf? If I'm faster than wolf, then yeah. Yes. And I'll just follow you. All right. Roll. 49. Okay. Uh, both of you make an intuition check. This, uh, we'll deal with that. All right, yeah, that's for some else. Seventy-six. Thirty-one. Okay. As you're chasing this wolf, um, you hear some other people running around out here in the desert. Roll of that ten. One. Okay, you hear one other person. Running around out there. Roll percentages. What's both zero? What? Both Stand zeros? Hundred. Hundred. Okay, and then roll again. Um, this guy's wearing a, a tank on his back with a mask. And he's running out in the woods. Almost like a scuba set without the, 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 the scuba suit. But he's got the backpack and you know, he's got the, the tanks and, the, and he's like listening around out and chasing the sound of the wolf too. Thing is, is this person good or bad? You don't know. And now it's quit yelling that it's in pain and it's now yelling that it's hungry. That's not your new child? <laughs> <laughs> no, I encountered a wolf. Yeah, is that your new child? No. It'd probably be a new friend. Roll the intuition check. Oh, wait, wait, what'd you get on yours? Oh, yeah, that was for the other people. Yeah. Go ahead and roll for your wolf sense. <coughs> Six. Okay. No. So it surprises you. The wolf? Yes. But it's not a wolf. Ew. It's half a wolf. It's a werewolf. Yes. Howling at the moon, now it's like hungry, and it, it went to jump at you, but then saw you were a wolf, and then decides to leave you alone. But we'll look at me. Yeah. Question is, can I talk to it while I'm a wolf? <coughs> Try it. So make an intuition? Um, what's your, um, yeah, your, your intuition. 87. Okay. What do you say? Give me three words. Uh... What are you doing out here? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are, that's one. Are. You know, where, are, it's kind of, you know, what are. No, that's two. What are, what we'll let you kind of. What you doing. What you doing. That works. Okay. Confused that it, you, that it can speak to you. It like backs off, and then the one in the suit or non-suit, the, the mask, um, pulls out a flashlight and then like starts flashing it around at him. So and it's trying to, to scare. He's trying and to then, scare. And then like waving off. you guys back. 
so he's telling us to get back. So yeah. it would probably assist the guy is good. Right? The one well, he doesn't have a gun. Then he's good. Okay. You guys leave him alone? I'm going to back away from the okay. werewolf. He walks up to the werewolf. Uh, looks like they're communicating. Ew. That doesn't sound good. And then they, uh... He kind of waves his hands at you guys and confused, and then like, you know, jumps up and down. Get out of here, you hear? What do you do? I uh, think. What are you doing, dude? There what do you do? I'm gonna turn back into a human. Okay. And the werewolf runs off. It's called a distraction. But, they introduce, or he kind of hands you a card. It says Mutant Underground. <coughs> oh, oh. Um, roll percentage dice. Why for the take our name? No, it was 15, right? Yeah. Because you guys left. It's 15. I got 15. You got typical. <coughs> Put down typical. Four. Your contact with cell group B. Cell group B. There's two of them. Yes. I have the better of the two. <coughs> you got the You get 100 points, you get 50. And We're going to call it right there. We're halfway through, actually. We got a lot of them done. We flew through a lot of it. And then it was a typical for the... Typical for the skill at it. All right. Something like that. Sure. Yeah. Let me see. What colors? Can I see? All right. Kind of like tomahawk. Something like that. Black and white, though. Black and white. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that kind of reminds me of um, what was it? Not not a dragon guy, but uh, he was in Justice League Unlimited. Justice League. Justice League Unlimited, kind of a white uh, suit, sort of like that. I didn't put fingers on there, but... White suit? Whole body? Yeah. Asian guy. Was he white head to toe? Uh, with his helmet on, yeah. With a what? With black trim. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Um... It's an Asian dude, though, right? Didn't he have white and red? I'm pretty sure it's black. I'll have to check. I feel sorry for you guys. Hmm? Why? Right. <coughs> <Bye. coughs> Her gas is kicking in. Oh, because she drank your food. Okay, hey everyone! I hope you had fun watching. You can stay in Morgan for a second. Okay. But I'll see you guys next week. We'll do this again on Friday. So in two days, though, we have our live. Tunnels and Trolls game. See the true fans then, hopefully. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.